access granted. Welcome indeed. Oh my god, this webcam. Oh, I swear to god. Aff! Affeline, my oh dear. How you doing? How are you doing? Bloody hell, it's early for you. I'm running a bit late. I, uh. Am I though? I mean, I feel like <laughs> official start time is not one o'clock, it's anywhere between one and two. It's a little bit late today. I swear to god, I'm just. I'm not hanging around. As soon as I'm awake, awake I'm. Jumping out of bed. I'm jumping. I don't really jump out of bed. <laughs> I'm getting up. You know, washing my face. Um, you know, stuffing breakfast in my face. Then I'm jumping in the shower. Then I'm here. So I, I don't know. I just... It just... <sighs> I'm just one of these people, Aff, that I just... I don't know. I'm just, it takes me time to get ready to do things. Oh! Oh, all right, let's jump over here for a minute. We've got to sort this out. F. More, more than deserved. Let me get you sort out. New VIP. God damn, awesome. Let me um. Yeah, let me get you a uh, set up on our panels. Red Mage. How you doing, bro? Look at that, Affleen's new VIP. Boom. 50,000 points, check it. I appreciate it. That's, that's no small amount. No small amount indeed. Um, and actually, uh, this is, uh, is this, I can ask this question to you as well, Red Mage, as you're one of our VIPs. Um, so in, in the panels, I've, I've got you, uh, you've, you're all marked. You're all marked, whatever, what does that mean? Uh, <laughs> uh, You've got, you've got your uh, recognition. You've got your name there. Uh, which is which also has a link on it. So the question is... I think I've linked everybody. Just to their Twitch page, whether you're a streamer or not. If you have a different website, or you want it to link to your Twitter, or whatever you want it to link to, within reason. Folks, obviously. Nothing like that. <laughs> Job Darkly is not a VIP. Uh, <laughs> God knows what he would link us to. I can imagine. Or can I? Who knows? It could be anything. Uh, <laughs> um, you let me know and I can change that. But I just got with the default is just. Uh... Yo, Jack, how you doing? Uh, the default is just your, uh, your, your Twitch page. Like, for example, if you wanted yours to link after your SoundCloud. That would be fine, or you want to link it to, like, uh, the, the era website or <laughs> whatever you wanted. Uh, same with you, Red Mage. Let me go. Right, so you're on the panels there. Let me uh, get you on the roll. Add new. VIP, 7th VIP. Oh, there's a pecking order. Boom, that should have updated for you now. How you doing, Jack? Are you alright? Also, um... Red Mage, he understands. He understands. My uh, my Red Mage is uh, <laughs> lacking. 
uh, in Final Fantasy XI, Red Mage, which is uh, terrible, really. I need to get back on that at some point soon. Um, but our Red Mage, Red Mage 22, the man himself, who is here almost every stream uh, for some time, uh, there's, there's no there's no more simple way to put this than to say that uh, he's over nine thousand. Aren't you, bro? You are. You know it. It's oh, too good to me. Here we go. You got. Let me get you on that flex. Where we at? Um. Well, thank you. Thank you for being here, folks. How you doing today, Jack? You right, buddy? Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I saw you mention in uh, Mr. Wrong's chat yesterday. Hey, how was your first tattoo experience? Was it was it painful? Did it take long? Did you enjoy it? That's my leaderboard. Oh my god, here we go. Right. <laughs> Damn, Red Mage, that's flex number 10. Wow, wowee. Overtaken Sween. Squidge. Oh, <laughs> did you see my tweet, Squidge? <laughs> you are definitely invited, Squidge. I was only joking. But we're playing a, playing a horrible, scary game at the minute, which I know is not it's not for you, is it? It may We may complete it this stream if, we'll, if I get my skates on. Um... So we'll quickly get back to something that's far more palatable for you. But uh, this was Scotty's choice. We were trying to figure out what we we're going to do. And um, Scotty cashed in his uh, his vote, his producer vote for the month. And was like, yeah, just do this. Yeah, don't tell Sween. I won't tell Sween. Don't worry. No, it's not. But you can hang out with us for a minute. Or we're getting set up. Yeah. Let's, have you got any, like... Um, Ice lollies or something. I <laughs> know oh, it's not really food, is it? I guess it's technically calories. But yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Because you you got to eat every day. You don't have to, but generally speaking, not you know, norm, no, you know, normal circumstances being what they are, you should probably eat every day. Um, but yeah, when it's this hot, you like, it's you just don't really want to. Um, Solero. Oh, what, f which, what flavor? Um, when it comes to like fruity stuff, like uh, you know, ice lollies or uh, squash, we talking about the other day. Um, I seem to be in the minority. I prefer like the you know the or more orange or more citrus, more uh, more mango. I think Solero is a mango. The orange ones aren't they? Um, a lot of people would prefer like the red uh, berries, uh, winter berries, summer berries, that kind of thing. Which I'm fine. Oh, oh, they're, they're cool, but I've yeah. Oh, you agree? You agree? Excellent, excellent, squid. Yeah. Uh, like people think, you know, I will, you know, ninety nine times out of a hundred choose orange squash over like uh black currant or uh, or berry squash. Even uh, even though it doesn't taste like oranges, it was never an orange that tasted like that. But uh, it's <laughs> Solero, some kind of vacuum. Uh, well it. It's kind of like a reverse vacuum. You suck it rather than it's it sucks you. Ah, phrasing. Um, yeah, Solero is well, well yummy. Scott, let me pull up a Solero for Scotty. They're good, and they're ice cream ice lollies. Um, There we go. That's a Solero. That's the the the, uh, the citrusy mango. I think it might have been mango. Yes, it's got a super soft, um, high high quality, like ice lolly on the outside. Then you've got a high quality uh, vanilla ice cream in the middle with like the same kind of uh, flavor sauce to it. And I think you get um like uh, red ones, berry ones, whatever they may be. But yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty damn good. Is the Solero? Oh yeah, there's uh. Oh, get rid, get rid of that. Yeah, that's the uh, red berries one. Which actually, as you know, I I would still choo choose the the orange one over that. But God, they are good. They are really rather good. It's that perfect blend between um, you know, cre creamy with the fruit. Mmm, mm. yummy, yummy. 
God. Um, how you doing, Scotty? You never had the red one before, Squid, just because you've got, you got the best taste. Oh, yeah, they, they, don't, they don't even uh, specifically define what it is. There, yeah, sorry, I'll pull this back up. Yeah, exotic. So it's got pa passion fruit on there, and mango, and pineapple. So it's kind of like a blend of those kind of uh, fruity flavours. So yeah, I'll definitely go for the exotic over the red berries every time. It's so good, so good. Let's see if there's any uh, other decent pictures. Uh, not really. We've got some spin-offs of it. But yeah, I've got across the point of what a Solero is. We don't uh, need to be looking at that. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> so that, that's that's the all, all I would come up with. Yeah, Creamsicle. Is that what you guys call it? Um. And yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, Squish. Yeah, I know uh, a lot of people like kind of almost question the existence of orange squash um i don't know i, I just prefer it yeah jack of rocket lolly <laughs> rocket lolly's uh pretty basic but they get the job done on a hot day don't they jack uh <laughs> okay sorry just catching up catching up on um chat here um it took about an hour didn't feel a thing well that's because you're big strong strapping lad uh jack different people have different pain tolerances um, but if you don't took an hour, that's fine. I, I find I'm pretty good at sitting for getting tattooed. When it gets to about hour six or seven, I'm like, oh, 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 I'm I. Oh. <laughs> that's thing you can't. They call it tapping out. If you go, if you get booked in for a whole day's worth of getting tattooed and you tap out, you don't get your money back. You, 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 you know, you have to. The artist has to tap out before you do. But yeah, excellent. I'm glad. Um, I'm glad that went well, Jack. Um, you know, don't go crazy like me and rinse your money on it. Or do, because you can do whatever you want, bro. Because you're, you know, you're a grown man. You can, it's your life. You do whatever you bloody want. Uh, <laughs> yeah, see, Red Mage, <laughs> to Squidge, hang out with us. Just don't look at the gory bits. So what you're saying is uh, Squidge needs to, like, move the, the, the browser so she cannot see any, see or hear any of the stream and just look at chat. <laughs> Because that's that's what we're that's what we're dealing with today, Red Mage. That's it's it goes from brutal to brutal to brutal. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. Sorry, I'm just catching up. Cornetto, yeah, Cornetto is a good Jack, but it doesn't have that refreshing factor that Solero does. Yeah, I like the, I like the word creamsicle, like icicle, creep ice, but it's yeah, it's a combination of two. A uh, fruit bar that that could be anything. A fruit bar, <laughs> but you know, not we're not judging here. Um, it's it's too cold down your way, Red Mage. My God, not up here, mate. Uh, a Magnum though, Magnums. Oh, Magnums sort of. Magnums are the best. High they don't know high quality ice cream. Yeah, I'll pull it up for you. Those who don't know what Magnum is. Oh, they do it in uh they do it in tubs now. Yeah, Magnum is the best. It's uh yeah, it's like high quality ice cream, high quality chocolate. Like look, that's got caramel in it. Two layers of chocolate with caramel in the middle. You know, almonds in that one. Uh, coffee flavour in that. It's like, oh my god. Magnums are too good. Basically, they're basically too good. You, you can't eat them because they're, that, they're too good. So it's good that you can't have one, Red Mage. Um, Oh, okay, lemon squash. I, I, I'm quite fond of lemon squash, uh, squidge, but it's, it's not, so, uh, it's more like an indulgence. I'd choose lemon over, <laughs> over black currant or red, uh, but yeah, I'd still want orange rather than lemon. Um,
Yeah, Scotty understands. Orange squash. Squash. <laughs> um. Oh, sorry, I need to catch up here. EBC 2021. I hope everybody knows him. His name's Scotty. He is the sole producer of the Isnib show. Uh, he's the reason we're playing this game today. Uh, and uh, got some interesting things coming up from him. You ha you've seen interesting things from him in the past, and you've got more interesting things coming up. Watch this space. I'll let you know about those things as they come up. It is my great pleasure and honor to uh, announce to the universe that Scotty is, without a doubt, over now. Thousand, aren't you, Scott Swift? Too good to me, that's for sure. I, I don't deserve you, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend like I do. Right, okay, here we go. Let's get this uh, little flex for Scotty over here. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Scotty. Flex number five. Very nice. There we go. That's done. And that's done. Um, <clears throat> Helados. Yeah, yeah, Squidge Squid understands. I feel, <laughs> apart from a few uh, nuances, me and Squidge have very similar tastes in what is quality, quality food. Uh, of each variety. See, oh Jack, I didn't realise that. I've uh, I've uh, I've heard your dad mention. Um, I've heard him mention. Uh, like about getting a tattoo, and that he, yeah, had the idea of what he wanted, and he was going to ask Kira to do it. But I didn't realise he'd been offered it for free. God, I wish. <laughs> if someone was offering me free tattoos, Jesus. Um, yes, that is true. That is true, uh, Scotty. I was aware of that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, you know, ice cream tastes better. Um, <clears throat> it's so, oh, your work sells the white magnum tile. Oh, my God, Jack. Yeah, um, Jack works for uh, Domino Squidge. Yeah, that was, sorry, he's, he's telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm still behind. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Red Mage. Normal Magnum. It's the standard, but it, it, there's nothing standard about it. <laughs> uh. Oh, mint. Yes, mint ice cream. Some people are like, yeah, mint. Mint dessert. Jog on. I'm like, no, you don't understand. It's, it's good. Um... But yeah, um, mint magnums are pretty good, but uh, I think I'd rather just get, you know, and them fancy ones with the caramel or the coffee. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, there you go. You can hold that over your dad forever. You'd be like, oh, check out my tattoo. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like this, Jack. A lot of people like the idea of it more than actually committing, because it is a commitment, isn't it? You know, you can't you can't change it. You're stuck with it forever. Um, but that's why I like them because it's uh, it's uh, in in some weird fashion, it's showing the uh, strength of your conviction. Um, yeah, also also or something. Um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I know you do get flavoured condoms, don't you? Metapod was telling me about it, and he's like, they don't really taste very good. And I was like, not trying to derail or go into, uh, you know, uh, <sighs> you know, territory where, you know, it's a bit outside the bounds of this channel. Uh, I, I don't, you know, that doesn't... I don't really know why. Anyway. Um, there you go. Jack knows all about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you see what I'm saying? It's like, it doesn't... Yeah, well, figure it out yourselves. 
Is it supposed to go out today? And you've got pizza for left for the occasion. My God, Red Mage, he's, uh, he's so in tuned with what he, uh, he, he knows and likes. And he's like, he's, he knows how to live life. He knows how to enjoy himself, Red Mage, don't you? I know you do. God, it's another warm one today, folks. Not for Red Mage. He's going to be wrapping a blanket around himself, playing turtles, eating pizza. But we are going to sweat out over here. Um, almost put a t-shirt on. God, I'm so glad I didn't now that I've sat down and started talking to you. Well, thank you so, all for being here so bloody early. I'm sorry it took me um a little bit extra to um get started. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's like due any day. There seems to be a little bit of confusion. It's um brand new Turtles game, um, Squidge. Uh, like a classic beat-em-up. And Red Mage was saying, um, oh! Right, I just got, um... Okay, so I've just got to message someone on, um, on Discord quickly, because I've just got a... Uh... Oh, damn! Something else. Yeah, I've got to message someone else. Uh, uh, something else. Uh, Jack's just sent me a picture of his new tattoo. Bro, that is looking freaking fantastic. You're looking devil devilishly handsome as well. I'm sure, I'm, you know, you don't need me, need me to tell you that. Um... Feel free to share that picture in uh in the conflux. You don't have to, Jack. You could uh if you want to. Everyone will be like, "What is that? Your that's your brother?" I'll be like, "That's one of them." Yeah. He got. Oh my god. <laughs> um. So feel free. So yeah. Uh. Sorry. I just need to. Uh... Yeah. Stick it in there yourself. If you you don't have to, buddy. Uh. But um. Uh... Aff's like, yeah, you, you do have to do that. <laughs> um, oh my God, I can't even spell. Um, yeah, sorry about this. This is uh, kind of important. There you go. Sorry, I'll, I'll get a reply in a second. Um, God. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to. Uh, but Aff, Aff says you do. But <laughs> um, Yeah, Squid. So I've got my, uh, my, my brother Pete, uh, who is two years younger than me, the brother I live with. Who's who owns this house? Jack is my stepbrother. He is uh how old are you now, Jack? You're twenty. Nineteen twenty. He's much younger than me and Pete. <clears throat> he is my he's the son of my stepdad. His dad and my mum are uh are an item. Nineteen. God. He's uh he's uh he's taking name and kicking indoors he's absolute bad man i wish i was as cool as, yeah <laughs> wish i was as cool of, as him when i was his age god jeez my god yes squid <laughs> um Sorry about this. Just got something like un awesome and unexpected. Um. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, this is true. This is true, Jack. Time flies, buddy. Yeah, I remember you've been a little lad. Now he's like, yeah. So Jack's nineteen. You know, you guys know me. I'm, you know, I'm not a small dude. Jack makes me look like just like an average kind of. <laughs> he's uh, he's he's taller than me. He's uh, broader than me. He's like, 
You don't want to mess with him. He, people ain't been messing with Jack, do you know what I'm <laughs> um, Okay, sorry. Yeah, so I just had a little email come through. I just had to check uh, for the sake of... Um, uh, for, for the sake of uh, the individual. Yes, uh, Atheline has just uh, signed up as a producer. Thank you, Ath. I didn't deserve you. I'll, I'll invite you to the. Dis I'll send you an invite to the Discord. Uh, get in there when you can. That's got access to the games list. Um, as um, <clears throat> executive producer, no less. So let me get you on the panels and stuff over here. Wow. Okay, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting that. You didn't have to do that. You didn't mention it before, my dear, but you don't have to do that, but you did. So I'm going to take it. Um, now, what that does is going... That does... Uh, that does give you uh, two votes. Well, I'll talk to you about it later. Because it's not like we're going to finish this game uh, to that. Well, maybe I won't finish today, but probably not going to really be starting anything. Um... Here we go. Oh, yeah. Sorry about this, folks. It kind of took me unawares there. There we go. We've got that there. And also need to add on a couple of things here. Oh, sorry about this. Just uh, get this... Uh, um, what's the word? Uh, clerical work out of the way. <laughs> Damn, thank you. Thank you so much, Half. I don't... I'm trying to bring you uh, what joy I can with my uh, silly little channel here. Thank you for the alert, Red Mage. <coughs> here we go. Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, we're going to go that. And that. Wow. Okay. Uh, but basically, if you get to like uh, vote on the on the master list, uh, you, uh, you get two additions to it, assuming there are things that um, I feel are appropriate, or, or and or have and also have access to. You also get to have two votes of what is coming up next. Now it's not a one double vote; it's two separate. Now as Scotty's had his choice of this you basically between over the next two weeks you get uh you basically get to choose immediately get to choose the next game and then put an extra vote for something else so have a look at the list and uh see see what you want wow that's uh that's a uh, wow i wasn't expecting that thank you oh my god here we go so i'm just uh updating this flex leaderboard We've also got a private stream on the the fight on the uh, last uh, Sunday of each month as well. Af, uh, so, so uh, it was just going to be me and Scotty, but uh, obviously it depends on the timing. If like you're there, if you want to be there, what you want me to do, what we're going to do, I don't know. Well, that's to be uh, decided. Um. Wow. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Anyway, I think that's all. Uh, <laughs> I think, uh, yes, round of applause. <sighs> Bless you. Well, you, you've got the perks. We don't have to leverage them. Only fans. <laughs> uh, well, here's the thing, uh, Af, I'll say this. Uh, I have, like, an overall goal on Patreon. If it re if it were to ever... It's, a, it's quite a, a big goal. Uh, but if it were ever to reach that point, then I would add another goal and that, for certain things. And then... Um, the eventual end goal would be to literally setting up the OnlyFans. So I know we joke about it, but there's then there's other people who have literally uh, seriously asked for it. Seriously asked for it. But I need, like, you know, quite a commitment. 
Go for that. <laughs> so it's a little way away. It's a little way away. But never say never. That's what I'm saying. Um, but I, I appreciate that. Um, but still, like, like I say, uh, Scotty, I kind of I had to talk him into uh, into choosing something. But it's up to you if you just if you don't want to choose something. But it's your right. You you you're supporting me. I'll give back to you. That's the way it goes. And no, you did not miss Chrono Trigger. That was just... Uh, we've not done that yet. That was just uh, Scotty's uh, suggestion. Anyway. Wow. That is greatly appreciated. Uh, helps me out more than you... Uh, more than you realise. Oh! <clears throat> Um, oh, did I... Have I tagged someone on there by accident? There's someone else. What are you trying to say, Jack? He, Jack, you don't need to do that, buddy. You, you're my, you're my bro. I know you got, you know, you're younger than me, you're larger than me, you're stronger than me, you're more handsome than me, uh, you got more money than me. We don't. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's, you know, it hasn't come through yet, but uh, yeah, that's the that's the idea, Squidge. That is the idea, and I'm not, I don't want people to. Uh, you know, nobody needs to. You don't, you don't have to. Uh, and if someone does, you know, does like a month, um, and then you know you you have you have to cancel it the next month. That is also perfectly fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, uh, and each uh, each period you do get those perks and benefits, uh, which the main is influencing literally what happens on here. I know Jack, for example. Uh, he he has a, a very specific and strong interest in Red Dead Red, Red Dead Redemption Two. He uh, I think he would definitely like to me to see me get into that on the channel. Uh, you don't care, well, buddy. You don't have to. Uh, it's entirely up to you, though, bro. You you do whatever you want to do. It's not you're a grown man. You know you you, you decide for yourself. Uh, I'm not, not, certainly not trying to influence anybody here. Um, Oh, uh, uh, Squid Spirit Farer. I know you and Sween bloody love it. Um, because yeah, we uh, when we finished Rayman Legends, we had a little look on Game Pass. We just get we just hanging out, just looking at what games were on there. Uh, get a, you know, just chatting about them, and that that did stand out. I was like, oh yeah, that's not the one you're thinking of. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, well, bless you, Jack. I don't deserve you, buddy. But um, yeah, you uh, like I say, it's not gone through yet. So we'll leave it for now. Um, but I'll check it after. I'll check it after the stream, Jack. And then um, if it's gone through all right, I'll uh, I'll get you all set up, get you on the Discord, uh, and you can have a look at the game list and you can vote. So basically, you get uh, you get a, v a vote of add adding something new to the list that's not already on there, and you also get a v to vote of what should be done from the list that is already there. But I'll I'll, exp I'll sort you all out later, buddy, and explain it all. Um, also uh. The Patreon does charge when you sign up and on the first, but even though you're like getting half a month, you're still getting a full month's worth of input. So, yeah, yeah, don't uh, don't deserve him, Af, or you for that matter, or any of you wonderful people. Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep doing me. And keep doing this, and uh, let's keep going. Uh, ah, <laughs> oh, Jack, I'll oh, bless you, bless you. I know about. Oh, so talking about little thank yous. Um, weirdly, yeah. Um, Barney Rubble and uh, Awesome Pharrell uh, both dropped to follow yesterday. Um, I think the alerts did pop off, but it didn't come up on my activity feed, so I forgot to do the general thank yous at the end. So thank you to those two fellas um for the uh for the follows um ah oh, it's kind of taking me back there um i don't know that um there is uh 
too much more I need to say right at this juncture. Uh, but of course, if there's any something I'm going to discuss when we get to our just chatting section in uh, about three, two and a half, three hours from now, um, I do <sighs> Twitch have introduced some new thing where essentially. Uh, at its base level, Twitch are saying to certain uh, streamers, if you run more ads, we will give you a slight increase in your ad revenue uh, percentage. And I've got a lot to say about it. I won't say I won't say it now. Uh, but the uh, <laughs> if you're not here, uh, the short version is it's bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. Uh, <laughs> I'll explain why later. But for now, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jack was here when I was... There's, uh, there's a bunch of people who weren't here last night at that time, Jack. Um, so when we do our just chatting mid, uh, in the middle of the stream, um, I'll get my coffee and we'll hang out and catch up again. Because this is like still early for a lot of people. There'll be other other people who'll stop by um, in a bit. Uh, and to, uh, then I'll tell you all about it and what my understanding of it is and why it's of very little benefit uh and uh why you shouldn't you shouldn't go for it as as a streamer you should basically ignore it and just be like no you don't need to kick off don't need to go to war with twitch twitch i'm not no i'm not your enemy i'm very grateful that you get to, and allow me to use your platform to do my channel to stream i'm very grateful for that but i'm also on the flip side i don't like you coming out with this nonsense trying to kind of fool you know, people who don't know better but whatever, because so you gotta understand that their bottom lot at the end of the day, they're not here to support streamers. This is just their, this is just how they make money. They care about money. <laughs> That's all it is. Anyway, uh, Squidge, do be careful. Uh, we are going to get into the evil within now. We're on chapter, the beginning of chapter three. Uh, I think the game is about 15, 16 chapters, so still very early into the game. Uh, but we're going to get several hours. Of the game, go well. Bless your squidge. I'm. I feel bad. I feel bad, more dear. But uh, unfortunately, if I was trying to cater to every single viewer's tastes at all times, we wouldn't be able to do anything. Uh, and I know you hate horror, but I do love it. Um, there's not too much more to, that I want to do specifically on horror. I will give. I will tell you that, uh, squidge. Once we've done the Evil Within games, uh, I, w I do want to cover the Silent Hill series at some point. Get back to that. Um, but I'm not like, I'm not a horror street. You know, you know me. All, what I want to do is play RPGs and specifically JRPGs, if, if at all possible. Uh, and various other random indie games and stuff. That's what I want to mostly do. Um, but there are some horror games that need ticking off the list. Um, bless you, Squidge. Bloody love you. Malegio. <laughs> the snib within. <laughs> um, oh. Dude, yeah, because... Ah, uh, Malegio. What a bro. It's been too long, Malegio. How you doing, sir? Are you all right? Um, I, uh... Yeah, I miss, I miss you, Malegio. I know you've, you've had, like, a rough six months, haven't you, buddy? I think uh, you said things are looking up a little bit. Um, in fact, uh, I'll be speaking to you very soon. Uh, in, in fact. Um, <clears throat> I, uh... But yeah, because you've got a new, uh, you've got a new work, newish work schedule, haven't you? So that you've just, uh, you just got in from work, buddy. All oh, right, excellent. Well, uh, feel free to hang out, uh, Maggio, or do whatever you want. So, um, you are uh, one of my most respected uh, people. Is that is that grammatically correct? I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, under overworked and underappreciated, and six days this week. So ten. It's a sixty-hour week. Oh, bruh. But look, you know, you looking at that, that's there were other there were other circumstances, there were other facets of this situation which made that way worse. So if those instances those those particulars have been resolved, Malegio is actually technically better off now than he was six months ago. Let's let that sink in. But yeah, hang in there, bro. Um darkest before the dawn that's what i believe um but yeah let's um let's get into the evil then um 
Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Even if it wasn't to take care of your niece, uh, Manejo, it's, uh, it's like, ease the, ease the actual fuck up. You, you know, unless you've got a contract to work 60 hours a week, they can't expect that of you. Whatever your contract is, that's all they can expect of you. Anything more than that, they can ask. And if you say no, they go, oh, okay, that's fine. If they've been dicks about it, oh, makes me angry. Anyway, let's go. Did you, uh, have you ever played this game, Manejo? So I know you uh, you generally prefer your retro and indie stuff, but you know I know you're a man of uh, many fac many faceted gentlemen. Um, but how's, how's your stream going, buddy? How's uh, how's gaming going? How's uh, Dead by Daylight going? Are you playing some Rocket League? Does a little, does a little bit of everything, does Manejo? Uh, here we go. Probably want some sound. That might help. We go. <clears throat> Continue. So, uh, so we're playing as a Sebast detective, Sebastian Castianos, uh, who got ca got called to the mental hospital where there's been a mass murder, and as soon as they got there with his uh, colleagues, everything just went topsy turvy, crazy. The city is destroyed and falling to pieces. There's ghosts. There's monsters. There's serial killer guys with chainsaws there's uh, all, all anything you can think of that is dark and crazy and wild and weird it is going on we've also got this nurse lady who's taking us into this like pocket dimension of uh relative uh safety and uh it's uh yeah so it's, it's, the whole thing is a whole thing basically um remember the controls yes i can nice um, yeah, so we spent our uh, upgrade points. Oh yeah, back in the, the this this dimension, wherever we are, we've uh, we met up with Doc, Dr. Jimenez. He was is also he was a doctor who works at the mental hospital. Um, and I don't know if I need that. I guess I'll take it anyway. Um, and uh, we've also got one of his patients, Leslie who's uh seems very distressed running around uh and uh, we're gonna try and get through this area together and try and rescue leslie i guess here we go smart say poops look at all these lovelies coming out um <clears throat> um garbage laws oh they're legally allowed to... My God, Malegio. So it's literally you just digging your heels in going... It's not like you've even got the law on your side. You're saying... You're just saying no. You know, you're just playing chicken with them, basically. And knowing that they're not going to get rid of you. Because, uh, you know, you're such a good worker. Uh, bro, that's, that's wildness. America is such a weird place. So the la in some... On one hand, it's like the land of the free. And you've got all these like freedoms and all this space. And it's like all these people and all this diversity and... And then on the other hand, it seems to be like the realm of madness as well. Like, kind of like this. Um, yeah, that's the thing, Scotty. Mandatory overtime is uh, an oxymoron, isn't it? <laughs> the term overtime literally means more than you're supposed to do. It's mandatory that you do more than you're supposed to do. What? Are you trying to start a fight, bro? <laughs> Poops. Um, well, thank you for the alert, buddy. Uh, well, you get off to work. We, oh, well, what Poots, what a gem he is. Anyone doesn't know Poots Cootie? He doesn't, I don't think he streams that often, but he's just like a, a, a gentleman of a human being. Smarts. How are you doing? Um... Right, yeah, Malaj, that's a tricky situation. It gives you some power, but it's not like the the legal You're not you're not got the law on your side. You're literally just digging your heels in and saying you're playing chicken with them, basically. You know, if they awful situation. But I'm very well, smarts, yes. I'm very well indeed. Um <clears throat> Yeah, Jack, it's uh it's a whole thing. I'm I am I'm fascinated by America. I don't 
but it's, it's there's so many uh there's so much wildness and contradictions and it it may be the craziest place on the planet but this also it's also got an extreme allure to it regardless of uh you know in you know despite uh you know uh regardless of my friends over there i you know it's still it's fascinating to me but anyway let's give this a go all right so it's gonna open up this gate here nice so i think that means we can yeah head back downstairs oh, i could have done that yesterday then. oh oh Oh, 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 God damn. The monsters are already here. Hey, over here. That's right, this way. Well, good on uh, Dr. Imenez uh, to uh, be like, yo. That old guy's gonna get himself killed. Oh, jeez. I want to try and kind of stealth fight these uh, enemies as much as I possibly can. I'm just going to hide in here for a second. <laughs> Wait till they... I don't think they saw me go in here. Let, let them clear out and then we'll st start trying to work from this point to... Um, <clears throat> eliminate them one by one. So we do... We early, early doors in the game. We do not have much in the way of uh, supply. Oh, I've got 16 bullets. I think we have a grenade be fair but this is what we got um okay i think they've cleared out going sneaky sneak Oh, jeez. Smashing. Oh, God. Is that police officer? Looks like it, doesn't it? Let's uh, try and shank her. Oh, that's not... That's not what we wanted at all, was it? Bowls. Oh, I'm inclined to. Uh, okay, we're gonna die. That's death number seven, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, when yeah, when you get to do it, buddy. When you get to do it, that's the problem, isn't it? But as long as you, as long as when you do get to do it, you're still having a good time of it. Ah, uh, I'll have to I'll have to have a little look at that, my Joe. I don't know if I've been following you on uh, if I'm following you on YouTube. One second, guys. Let me just make sure I'm following my Joe. Yeah, Yes, I am. Okay, I must. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. I shall. Uh, is it that? Uh... Right. I'll have a little look at that later. I'll let you. Cool. Right. Okay. There we go. Let's do. Try and do this properly. Does not they just kind of like come out of nowhere and you're like, okay, what are we? What are we? What are we doing here? So they're very angry. that bottle oh 
Okay, I don't know if it kind of like uh, reset them or something. Uh, since we died, now we've like respawned after we've already hit the crank. It seems like that's what happened. Unless it's, unless it's not. Gotta hit the crank again. Oh no, okay, we've, d we've done it. Okay, weird, never mind. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's, uh, they've been around for a, a little while. Af. Yeah, it's all the emotes on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I would make the same uh, noise, Melejo. Absolutely. Oh my god. Spare ribs. Why do they call them spare ribs? I mean... I feel like everyone needs, whether whether they're your ribs or you're the consumer of the ribs, I don't think there's any spare. Do you know what I'm saying? Like all all of the ribs are required. There's no there's no spare ribs. I uh ducking out here. Um, I'm getting a. A vibe like I miss, might have missed something over here. I don't know why. Bro, I burnt your corpse yesterday. I better burn it again. Yeah, I don't know why I thought there was something over here. It's not. Right, okay, now we've got to try and be sneaky sneak and uh, try and do what we can to uh, take out these enemies one by one. Wherever they may be. It seems like dying kind of like reset them back to like neutral positions. Well, I don't like the sound of that. I'm going to eating his ribs there. Bear trap. Uh, probably don't want to stand on that. You look sus. Okay. Gel. Oh my god. I want to uh, throw that in his face, don't I? That's what I want to do. Wow. Uh, okay, there we go. We got him. God, I took a beating. God, so much damage. I think the only problem... Okay, so we've got a few bullets. But the only problem with, uh, with shooting, of course, is they're going to hear that and they're all going to come running. That's the only issue. Um, exactly. Anyway, thank you for the light, my Joe. It's good to speak to you again, buddy. Uh, now you go get it to bed and get get some rest because clearly bloody earns it. Oh, oh my God! We are not having a good run of this, are we? Not wanting to restart chapter. I'm going to have to uh, pop one of these, I guess. What? What? Did someone just fall down from up there? What the bloody hell? They left some goo, though. I guess that's good. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's um yeah, if we climb up here we don't fall off maybe we can have a little look around at the village yeah i think there's an i think there's an everyone F. i mean they might have 
They might have, uh, they might have missed one or two. Oh. Okay. Ah, flash bolt. Okay, so this is, um, this is ammunition for this, uh, mystical crossbow. The agony crossbow, which we do, do not currently possess. Uh, blind defense path flash. Be killed from any direction with a sneak kill. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. so you, um, you blind them, immediately sneak, and you just go sh shanky shank, one hit kills. There we go, I'm going to take that. Okay, so now I'm up here. Okay, I see movement over there. I say, I'm not really seeing much otherwise. Let's turn him back down. <laughs> Supplies, though. That's what matters. Very good, uh, good atmosphere. They, uh, they've, they've, uh, done, you know, they pulled off this game, I feel. Okay, there's a dude up there with a fucking rifle. Okay. Right, that's like that, is it, bro? Right, I'm not going to hit him with a handgun from over here. Okay, let's see if we can head towards that lovely sound. Right, yeah, we've already been down that way. Let's try uh, sneaking around up here then. This is as best as we can. Cool, we've got some matches. Right, there's a bomb there. Ugh. Oh, we've got a ladder right up to the top there. Hmm. Okay, I said uh, let's head up here first. Right, let's head right to the top. Let's see what we can see from here. No, that's the thing. I've I've played it through uh, uh, several times before, Af. So it's not really, and I'm uh, you know I'm I'm not. I'm not too put off by like scary horror stuff like this. There we go. So that's the goddess statues that we have to smash to get the keys like that. We've got some gel as well. Nice. Um, but still, I don't remember exactly what's coming up because it's been several years since I played it last. Uh, and like the, the whole atmosphere is like obviously putting me on edge. I don't know where the enemies are. I don't really have too much in the way of weaponry to deal with them at the minute, etc. Right, bear trap. Let's not step in this one, is. <laughs> okay. That ladder we're kicking down, though. Okay. 
that's on that little wooden patio with a table. We've already been there. I don't know if you anyone remembers where so we had those like matches on the table. I had to leave and come back and get them and carry them at the time. Alright. More, more gel. Got a ladder going down there. Right, more matches, nice. Oh, I've right, got two spare then. Right, okay, that's where. Okay, I'm gonna just check on the other side before we head down there. I don't think I actually, um... Oh, there we go. Worth, uh, it's definitely always worth having a little look around. Uh, it's kind of tricky to tell what, uh, what, what boxes and stuff you can smash and what you can't, but... You, uh, do you get a vibe for it eventually. Oh! Right, okay. Three more bullets. I've got a fair amount of bullets. I just obviously need very much need to uh, make these last. Oh, I've got some. Uh, Picky wigs. I mean, some scary dude behind that wall. I don't know if we have to fight him or not. Or oh, even want us? Chained up? I don't know. So I think I... I think there's some benefit to actually fighting that guy. Well, I think you're... Um, because he's so he's so dangerous and strong, you, I think you want to kind of try and clear out the rest of the village, so you can kind of like run around <laughs> and kite him a little bit if you need to. Let's uh, let's leave him to his uh, his moans. That oh, crying out loud! And all sneaking. Some treasure though. Oh, opening chests. Open a chest all the way to reveal its contents. If the chest is trapped, open it only part way will disarm the trap. Oh, okay. You gotta do that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> if you just hold the button and open it up. Yeah, you just get a bomb. Okay, there we go. Explosive bolts. Ooh, what am I gonna get for this crossbow? Um will detonate when enemies approach, can be placed on things like floors and walls and directly into enemies. Excellent. Look at that. Shotgun shells. And more trap parts. Nice. To, uh... All right, we're, f we're fighting these by the looks of it. Oh, nice. 
Oh, nice. Cool. Okay, and they're all not, they're not all coming running, kicking off. Okay, cool. Oh, I can't believe we got that nice headshot there. Let's uh, get their goo and uh, burn that corpse. Nice, okay. Okay, that was good. Uh, we've got I've got two grenades, so I might need both grenades and uh, all 20 of my handgun bullets to kill this big scary dude who's stomping around over here. Moaning. I'm led Jerry gnawing on his ribs. <laughs> oh, okay, I should do over there. And where is the... Where was the guy with the rifle? He must be just on the other side of this building, I believe. So if I were to cut back out into the middle there, it probably wouldn't be the good idea. Oh, hang on. Ah. Have a little look, see here. Take those. Drop down and get a sneak attack. Ah, there we go. That's the uh, guy with the rifle. Shall I risk it? Let's risk it. Good job I uh, dropped down and not. Uh... Well, actually, I'll probably hopefully I would have seen that. But <laughs> this is me we're talking about. I have just stepped in two bloody bear traps. So I mean, <laughs> okay, cool, cool. I think we're back on track. Oh, yeah. I guess in a way, uh, Appy, you gotta get, you get some less scary. I mean, the horror elements get more intense and more scary as you go in further into the game. Um, but the you, you you don't feel as vulnerable because you got level up a bit and you get like more weapons and you know more supplies and things. All right, so if possible, oh, the funk. Oh, sorry, language. <laughs> See me. Oh, oh, what the hell? Sounds like he set off his own trap, but he's actually fine himself. You gonna. He's coming. Okay. Let's back up a sec. Throw this bottle in his face and I'll shoot him in the head. Or not. What's he doing? He changed his mind. So he seems to set, walk in some kind of trap there or something. Okay. I'm going to try and go for it. Go for it. Yes, there we go. Nice. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. What's that do? Ah, I see. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, I see, I see what they're folks. Gonna run away for a second. Shh. 
shoot, uh, shooting her in the legs. Probably not that useful. Okay, that worked. That definitely worked. Yeah, you want some buddy? You crazy kids? Let's give one of these. Okay, I only, only hit one there, but... God. <laughs> Missing half your head and you're still going. <laughs> oh, let me uh do that. Yeah, that's a clever little trick there. I'll just remember that. If you uh if you can match a corpse and there's an enemy like stood on it as you do, you get an extra kill there. Alright, there we go. Got a few bullets replaced. I feel like I've taken a little bit too much damage there. Hey ho, it is what it is. Oh my god. Worse! <laughs> Cage. Cage, the man who's scared to play Dark Souls. I mean, I don't know what to say, Cage. I don't know what to say, buddy. Okay, that's what both of these levers do. Right, so we've got a do door there. Well, that could be a little bit dangerous heading out that direction. Or well, maybe not. Maybe we need to head that way. I'm just going to uh, have a little look down here and then a little look upstairs. Oh, baby! Shotgun. You can't go wrong with a shotgun. This pump action shotgun has a short barrel and a wide choke, sending pellets over a short but wide area. Uh, you must have played this, uh, Cage. What is your opinion of it? And, I, and more importantly, how you doing, buddy? And then we've got... Oh, is this dead end? That's a, yeah, it's just a closet, isn't it? Or wardrobe, as uh, we call it here in the, in the UK. Oh, what's this? He's watching. We can't leave. Well, that's... That's not good, is it? <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's that's perfectly reasonable, Scotty. And, and to be fair, in Cage's defence, he I think he said he is planning of having a go at Elden Ring. I don't know if he said that. I think he said that. Oh, there we go. Take this uh, little torch. This, uh, these are like the hatchets are like uh, one hit kills on the uh, standard enemies. You can get burnt, bro. Oh, okay. So we'll look out the window. So we're at the parallel with the gate we need to get through. But there's still enemies roaming around in this little area, no doubt. Oh, the agony crossbow. Um, capsule crossbow is a strong bowstring that appears capable of launching heavy projectiles. X. Well, I need to uh get all these equipped. Here we go. Oh, I've suddenly got ammo. Uh, create bolts. Uh, use the trap parts to create the bolts. Excellent. Let's get that there. Right, so we've got one flash bolt, one explosive bolt. Uh, okay, but you can only stock a couple. Use those trap parts. Excellent. I'm suddenly feeling much more confident. Um, shotgun and the crossbow. There we go. Shouldn't need to run away now, Cage. Get some matches. Ooh. 
Harpoon Bolt. Powerful Harpoon. Impale opponents. Nice. Okay, so I don't see... Oh, is that him right there? Now, you'd think holding the torch would uh, light up the area, but I think... Because it's like a weapon, it kind of doesn't count. Or something, maybe. Hey, buddy. Very, very quiet. <laughs> And get one of those as well. There are definitely some dudes around somewhere we've not found yet. Right, okay, so that's the uh that's the mechanism to uh try and open the gate. I think we might be thrown into uh some uh we might be thrown into the frying pan as soon as we touch that, so I'm gonna make a point of uh making sure we just had a little look around and uh find, found everything. We've just got to deal with a big dude as well. Which now we've got the crossbow. I'm uh, feeling a bit better about. Alright, that's so that should be back into the same building though. Yes, so we don't really need to go in there. I don't know why you want to set that on fire. Unless you can knock it into enemies or something. So I think we've... Uh, ah, here we go. Not been through this, uh, this... These buildings here on the right. So uh, let me have a little look in this area. Yeah, I hear heavy, heavy breathing. There he is. Probably some more upstairs. So I think he's coming this way. Oh no, he's right there. Okay. Right, okay, uh, all good so far. It's actually going a lot better than I thought it would. It might, I might even look like I had some skills if I'm not stepped in those bear traps. That looks a bit sus. Give it a go. Okay, I think I just unlocked that door. Okay, that's fine. Head upstairs. Oh, I got our harpoon bolt there. Yeah, we can't carry too many bolts. I we'll have to make sure and come back to get that one in a second. Oh, 
Oh dear. That's fine. Maybe you'll turn around. Rather than come through here. Uh, nice. Shells we can't even carry. Uh, remember, we've got a harpoon bolt, shotgun shells we need to collect. so quickly you're welcome to give it a try please time is of the essence it is imperative we find leslie before anything should happen to him obviously nothing to say not having a good day oh what's this medical kit ah okay Large syringe in this medical kit provides a major health restoration but with temporary side effects. There are a limited number of them. Must increase health a little bit with each use. Ah. Okay, that's cool. So it's a heal, but it increases your overall uh, health as well. Interesting. Your max health, should I say. And what's the, what's the what's the doc doing up there? What's this? Experiment number four. Subject numbers four through thirteen. Brainwave activity diminished, but synchronization achieved. Subjects should begin experiencing a shared consciousness. Previous trials indicated rapid deterioration <laughs> of consciousness. Their minds became an exquisite mass. An amalgam of mental carrion. Wow. I'll have to connect myself if I want to experience their terror before it diminishes. What on earth? Looking on grey love. Oh my god, that's all. I remember those shotgun shells there. And, uh, there's, there's matches somewhere as well. I guess they're not as important. Right, wish me luck. Um, I think he just busts out when you get a bit too close. Oh, boobs. Oh, so, I mean... I'm sure boobs need healing as well. Oh. Oh, okay. Maybe we've got to... Um, Okay, maybe we've done the pr preliminary stuff in here. And now we need to... Uh... Oh, hang on, I'm getting a bit of a vibe about something. Uh, and maybe now we need to... Um... Hit the switch at the end. But first... I just want to... Uh... I'm not sure if that corpse has got something. 
No, oh, oh my god, I'm just wasting two bullets there. It's fine. It'll be fine. Something that'll get through this. Maybe a chainsaw or something. Right, okay. So that is it. <laughs> Here we go. I don't think we get extra enemies to deal with. I hope, hope we don't. Oh my god. It's right on us. Yeah, that's kind of waste of a grenade. Oh! About to get shanked. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? That's death number eight. I hope we're not getting a little checkpoint there. I hope we don't have to clear out the whole village again. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Squidge, for getting rid of the bot there. God, that was quick. Beyond that. I hope you're not, I hope you're not looking at this awfulness, Squidge. <laughs> oh, no. I think... Okay, we've got the guy there. Okay, I think we've semi got a checkpoint. I think it's put us at the point where... Um, yeah, we were just... We just were a second ago. Yeah, we just got to clear this house out. Okay, I can, I can live with that. Grinding your okay. Listen to an audio book. Okay, well, <laughs> bless you. Thank you, Squidge. forget that you you're very limited on uh, your ability to uh to run <laughs> thank you af <laughs> I think we had the uh, spare shotgun shells there. So I probably want to at least blast him twice with the shotgun, you know what I'm saying? How did you get it open so quickly? You're welcome to give it a try. Wasn't that quick, mate? Please, time is of the essence. Subject number 
his forces to the team. Ah, I think we're done. Yeah, so th so clearly there was some weird ass uh, experiments going on at the very least. Exquisite. So someone like mind melding people, and you can imagine that wouldn't go well generally speaking. But if you're doing it with like uh, you know people in the insane asylum, probably not probably not for the best, is it? Bless your squidge. He's too good to me. Maybe a chainsaw or something. Yeah, we're getting it. We're getting it. Right, okay, let's let's do this with the uh, skill now. Oh yeah, I want to make use of my grenade, but I'll uh I don't want it to be wasted. There we go. As soon as he pops out. Oh, you want some too, buddy. Okay, let's, uh, let's pull out the shotgun for a second. In fact, yeah, if we stick that there. Oh! Wow. Really? Oh. oh my god, he just uh he just ate it. He's like, ah that's not that's no big deal. Let's uh try some of this. Oh, is he dead? Ed? Oh, didn't mean to uh, fire that shotgun, obviously. Oh, okay. And there's the ghost dude. I better hold on to this. No, no, uh, yeah, AF apparently doesn't. It has to have some amount. You can put the volume on like 1%. But uh, it. Yeah, apparently you, you do need to uh, have some volume for its counters view. If you're doing a lurk, uh, the teeth is old, well worn chainsaw are capable of some all sorts of things. Nice. Okay, we're, we're kind of getting on track a bit now, I think. Now, I don't remember where those uh, couple of spare matches were. I think we might have lost those, but we definitely have got two shotgun shells. Oh, that kind of threw me off a little bit, honestly, guys. Those are. Uh, the ads coming in out of nowhere. But, you know, hey-ho. Let's not cry about it. So I'm inclined for terms of ammo. Just, like, use uh, use ammo as I, I need to. And then kind of save your trap parts. And then if you're running out of ammo, make some uh, crossbow bolts. I, I feel that might might be the best way to go. And to make the uh, most of your supplies, because you would, you do find bolts as well randomly around. So, yeah, we've got a nice bit of. Um, I don't. Uh, I'm not gonna risk that. We've got a nice bit of a uh, uh, gel now. We can probably get an upgrade or two. Let's uh, just press on. I bet there's going to be like a safe point. Access to the safe area just beyond here. Seems reasonable to me.
Wait, uh, officer. Uh, you must take me with you. Detective Castellanos. Leslie should be just ahead. It is imperative that we find him. That sounds sus, doesn't it? I wonder if uh, Dr. Jimenez knows... Uh... Okay, there we go. That's chapter three done. Knows more about... Knows... Appears... Knows more than he's letting on. In fact, he's like, oh, it's imperative we get Leslie. It was... That sounds like more cons more than just concern for his patient. There we oh, there you go. Chapter 4, The Patient. Invisible enemies can be tracked when they step in puddles. Invisible enemies? Really? I don't remember that. <laughs> that sounds fun, doesn't it? Invisible enemies, my god. There is an, an invisible enemy mode on Resident, the original Resident Evil, but that's like a but that's like a whole different thing. Oh, the hospice. Yes. Leslie was being treated here years ago. Treated He'd come here thinking it was familiar and safe. He was in a hospice you know years ago. Just ahead is the hospice my brother runs. He'll take us in. That didn't answer my question. I honestly don't know. For all I know, I'm losing my mind and you're just a delusion. But I'd like to think I still have a shred of dignity and an obligation to protect my patient. Yeah. Great. Right, let me, um... Get my, uh... Weapons in the slots that seem, feel most, uh, natural to me. There we go. No. There we go. So I've got two uh, of these uh, blind cr uh, cr flash crossbow bolts here at the minute. They seem like a good idea because so you can uh, if you use them on a random enemy, then you can. Uh, Anything? Oh, yep. Go. Uh, then he said you can. <coughs> they basically you can sneak attack them, right there and then. So uh, kind of perfect against the uh, standard enemies, you know, against um. Oh, what, what's, what's he staring at? I don't know what he was staring at. Then. I can hear that music though for safe uh, safe room. Did you now? Oh, you did. Oh, there we go. So let's try this. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty cool. bullets i think we're at maybe at the oh another map fragment interesting i think we're at the point where we can kind of like kind of just fight normally I'd obviously i still have to be very conscious of trying to preserve ammo where possible um but still I don't think there's a limit to the number of trap parts you can have, so definitely you helps too. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, yeah. Of course, we're gonna, you know, we've got to uh, survive as well, buddy. Getting about you, bro. Calm yourself. Alright, okay, so we've got this building here. We've got the building up there. 
and uh, another note from his diary. Interesting. Uh, February 2005. So this was um, this is like th uh, three months after he was made detective. Uh, Mia was almost killed this afternoon, shot by a suspect we were pursuing. Thank God I was there. She's going to be okay. But seeing her bleeding like that, thinking I was going to lose her without telling how I really feel was unbearable. I think she feels the same way. Something undeniable between us. Uh, it's against the code of conduct, but I have to let her know how I feel about her. I hope I'm not setting myself up for embarrassment. But if you... No, you've got to do it anyway, buddy. Bless him. Oh, well, I wonder what happened with that. No reference so far. Right, here we go. Let's, um, we've got a couple of... A key. At least one key. And we've... Uh, Freaky. Oh. Oh, where's she gone? Oh. Uh, this map is a fragmented... As a, sorry, it's as fragmented as the city itself. Oh, okay, so that's where we put our map fragments in there. And see whatever that does. Okay. She's so mysterious. Right, we've got one key. Oh. Um, I just might as well use it. I'm just going on the top row. Ah, okay, some heels. I'll save those because I can't carry too many. <laughs> she doesn't feel the same way. <laughs> it's his imagination. Well, he did finish with, I hope I'm not setting myself up for embarrassment. Um... But yeah, we that was uh, in the past, so we don't know really what became of that. Right, let's spend our gel again. I want to pri prioritize stock of uh, of uh, consumables and ammo. That makes the most sense to me. From a, a survival horror point of view, um, agony bolts can be upgraded. Interesting. Right, okay, let's go. Yeah, that's what we want. Um, syringes as well. Hmm, let me just have a look at the bolts. Okay, so it uh, increases, yeah, so the explosive ones that increases their damage up to 150%. Uh, flash bolts are uh, duration of blindness. Yeah, up to 16 seconds. So you could use one single uh, flash bolt to uh, blind a whole group of the regular enemies and uh, absolutely smash them. Inflicts extra damage on enemies struck. Fire damage and to level 5. And level 4 gets 240% damage. My god. Right. So many things. So many things we need to do. Let's uh, first. Let's go for more handgun bullets. Twenty up to twenty-five. Look at that. That will do. It. Get up to fifty there. Okay, let's uh, get more uh, agony bolt capacity. And then let's go ahead and max that out. So it looks like you can stock four of each uh, bolt now. Nice. That'll do. Okay, we can't go through that mirror now. Interesting. Where's she gone? Can't save the game. She's not there. 
Oh, it's a new a new uh, newspaper article. Missing patient found. Caretaker worried sick. Psychiatric patient missing since last Tuesday found hiding in photo photography studio. Uh, physician uh, Valerio Jimenez said God's will. Okay. Uh, Valerio missing. Doctor uh, Valerio Jimenez. Oh, this is his brother, isn't it? I can't remember his first name. Uh, owner of the Elk River Hospice. That's seen driving into the city. He's missing apparently. Or was whatever any of this means. We don't know, does do we? Um. Yeah, I mean, it's it's set in a fictional uh, city. Uh, af it you know it is what it is. Uh, but no, I think it's actually set after that. That was uh, a couple of years ago when he. Uh, Sebastian was first to become a detective. Okay, nothing, uh, nothing in his little room there. Okay, she's, uh, she's looking at the mirror. Um, I, I kind of have to go this way. No, no, not that way. No. So many new admissions, and not a single discharge. Okay, well, I guess we'll see what we can do about that. All right. Where's Leslie? Fine. You right there, buddy? You don't look well at all. Do take care of yourself. Yeah, no, I don't feel too well at the minute, honestly. <laughs> oh, God. Right, okay, now we can uh now we can head out. Aye aye aye. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's check this building first. Oh wait, let's check around at the perimeter before we go into the building. Oh. Oh my god. Seriously? Oh, yeah, thank you very much, yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, they started. They're going to start, Scotty. What am, I, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Ooh, more harpoon bolts. Nice. Uh, 
Ai, ai, ai. Okay, so let's head into this building. Keep up then, bruh. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Okay. I guess we uh don't really need to be in here. How disturbing. Yeah, very, very happy sort of place. If you, you know, if you're, uh, you know, the serial killer type. <laughs> what could have happened here? Okay, I've got a bit of vibe. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna check the other building first, actually. matches and that seems about it in here all right freaky looking scarecrow Leslie. He's he's probably terrified. Sebastian. For a start. For starters. We, must be going. we are going, mate. We're just, you know, being careful as we go. Down there. Okay, we're sat on max bullets. Uh, use some of those in a second, then. Help me. Leslie. Help me. Oh, thank heavens. Sir Jimenez is here. Settle down. Doesn't seem like he really likes Dr. Jimenez much, does he? Oh. Settle down. 
invisible enemies. This place is a death trap. Sure. <laughs> I, I managed to pull that off. <laughs> Just threw the bottle and it stunned him. <laughs> Be going this way. Can't get away. Can't get away. Cool. There we go. Gel. Need all we can get. This. We well, always need more you can get. There's always something more to upgrade, but at this current juncture. Okay, we probably want to. Make use of our handgun a little bit. Ow. The stairs are gone. We must be That's the whole thing, isn't it? Um Yeah, totally. Losing our minds. Totally, Scotty. Losing our minds. 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 Oh, God. No. Rovik. It is you. So I think, feel like this guy's the one responsible for all of this. No. I mean, if I actually want to shoot him, or if there's any real benefit to doing so. Have a check through here. There's not. There's really not much here to look at. A shotgun shell, a harpoon bolt, a supply section, and a couple of matches. Hey, yeah, no. we've sat on full matches. You see what I mean? So we're already getting to the point where there's um, you know, supplies that we're not able to pick up. This is the? the normal setting, so it's kind of to be expected. Doctor, Leslie. Oh. Fuck. Oh. I guess we'll go this way. Oh. Guess we'll go this way. Oh. <laughs> Oh. That's quite a shining like, wasn't it? Now where are what we? What's going on here? I don't actually mean to uh, use that, but that's also fine. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Wonderful. Oh, just. Now, oh my god. Now we're, uh, we're way off the grid now. I don't know if you can jump that. Oh, probably not. You can climb up here. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, totally. Totally scoy. Oh, okay. Explosive barrel. Guess we'll knock that down there. Hmm. 
think it's setting us up for something here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of uh, ridiculous, isn't it? He's like, what? What's going on? Everything he's been through. Jesus. Everything he's seen. Oh, I can't see... Um. Where we disarm that wire. Be very careful to stay away from it. So you want to get over there. Maybe I can duck under it. I think I can. Yeah, nice. Oh, okay. All right, more uh, more bullets. We uh, cannot use at this first moment. That's another bomb. We should probably disarm that. Oh, or just uh, yeah, avoiding bombs. Yeah, I was trying to sneak. We just kind of threw ourselves out of accident. Very unfortunate. Guess we'll use our. Uh, Okay, I think we're all right for a minute. There we go. It's better to put off the uh, the proper med kit for a minute. I was trying to get to it to disarm it. I wasn't being an idiot. I should have walked up on here first. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, that's, uh, that brings us back here. So I think we've uh, this awful room. I think we just need to head through here. Oh, or not. Right, so he's got some kind of power, and that seems to be the manifestation of the said power. Oh. Okay, that was pretty, uh, pretty nice. She had enough. She's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> nope. Oh, balls. We don't see him coming up behind me. Oh dear, I think we'll have to do that again. Right, it's death number nine. Okay, at least you know what's coming out. Right, okay. I'll try 
trying not to uh, whack myself with that bomb this time. Oh, I didn't think we went up here, did we? Oh, okay, this is just a little hidey hole. Interesting. Okay, let's uh, let's keep, let's fight. Oh my god, let's uh, let's fight them and then we'll uh, clear out the room. There's bombs and stuff around, so um. Might be able to walk them into it rather than just going for the traps. one of these. Right, I definitely did something. God. Oh, God. Probably want to not miss like that. Oh, I think maybe one of them walks into a trap there. Let's uh, get a little reprieve up here. All right, I want to reload. So probably want to pop one of these at least, if not two. Phew! I got that. I got the job done, apparently. My God. They're uh, putting it on me. It's been a while. <laughs> God, I think I did this on uh, Pumu. Unbelievable. Right, Mr. Oh, what's that? Excellent. And some bullets. Oh, there we go. Got some gel. Just make sure we've got a got scrounge around. You gotta make sure we've got everything. I think that's it. Let's get out of this awful place. We've got a bomb there. Let me see if I can not explode it this time. Oh, that's close. <laughs> it was close. Oh, uh, I see something good over there. Yeah, they set off that wire, didn't they? Nice.
all the blood. It's too much blood. How we doing on time? Alright, we'll do about another hour of this, then we'll uh have a look at our just chain. Go that way. Well, 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 well. This is a thing, isn't it? Um, yeah. Let's. Um, I think we should. I think we should. We are supposed to run away from this. Shit! I'd better run. You think? Oh my God! Uh, better run. Where are we running to? Oh, there we're running. Okay. Oh, I think I'm gonna burn it. Oh no, I cannot burn it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's head down there. Oh, oh no. I'm glad Squidge isn't seeing this. She would not like this. What is it with you? <laughs> Some of the, uh, the dialogue is a bit. I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> what is it with you? Yeah. It's the long-limbed, long-haired uh, monster lady. That's what we're dealing with. That's what it is, folks. But, uh, she back. She back. Yeah, she does not like fire, though. Single shotgun shell we cannot take. <laughs> yeah, already. And bullets we can't take either. I've prioritised her. Oh my. Bro, what is your problem? Oh, oh. Right, he's definitely. Uh... Oh, okay. He's de <laughs> he definitely just killed us. Uh, that's death uh, number 10, I think. Okay, we want to stay away from him. We'll try and shoot him. Although he kind of seems to phase in and out of reality. So I don't... Ruvik. That's his name. I don't know if that's really going to... Uh... Oh, we've got a checkpoint. Thank God for that. I mean, bro. Give him a shotgun blast to the face. Yeah. Oh, 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 geez, okay. It's not that, is it? Oh, reality is uh, not having the best time of it.
Okay. It turns out I actually went to the wrong place first. You know, outside when we saw Leslie. We're supposed to go to the other the other house first, but I'm not. I'm not. Uh, so we. It doesn't matter. We probably, we probably missed a little, little cutscene with Doctor Him and Ezra's brother, and maybe a couple of supplies. Uh, kind of tough. We're, we're moving on. Chapter five: Inner Recesses. Seems someone wants me hospitalized. He's watching. We can't leave. Okay, so that must be Ruvik. He's the one, isn't he? Right, okay, next month, March, uh, one month after Mira got shot, presumably. Okay, the bad news is that I've been reassigned to a new partner. The good news is that Mira said yes, so he proposed to her, or at least he, like, asked her out. They're, they're a couple. But obviously, you can't have a couple working to being partnered on the job. Um, uh, but even the bad news isn't so bad. Joseph is a great detective, and he's a good... And we're a good team. Okay, there you go. That's his new partner. Uh, Crimson City mean, needs more men like him on the force, and it's an honour to be working with him. But sometimes it feels like uh, bailing out a boat with a giant hole in the bottom. For every crime we solve, it seems that ten others are committed. CP, the, sorry, the KCPD is a thin blue line protecting the populace from the criminals. But sometimes it seems like there's more of the latter than the former. Hmm. True enough. Oh. Got a explosive bolt. I guess as we've been presented there, we'll, uh, we'll go and uh, save the game. I don't know. For me, my ass. Hmm. It's been a while since your last visit. Um, it's not been that long. Investigation stalls in serial killer case. Community cautiously optimistic. Citing lack of new leads, police suspect serial killer may have gone into hiding or moved on. I, I don't know that's a good thing. You want to catch them, yeah? I don't think I got too much. Uh... Uh, Three thousand six hundred might be enough for a little upgrade. I wonder if I should try and save up for that. Well, yeah, we've definitely been missing a few uh, shotgun shells, haven't we? There we go. Let's uh, upgrade that. Go for an extra grenade. Extra two grenades. There we go. on heels. Okay, we're doing alright. Yeah, I think we're doing alright all over overall. Oh my god, it's warm in here. I've got to upgrade this uh, running stamina. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Well, they did take a ch chainsaw to his uh, right calf, didn't he, at the start of the game? Right, okay, so I guess we're uh, going this way.
Point the stub. Oh! There was somebody there, and there was not. Oh, got that, is it? <laughs> Just like that. Oh. No, oh, really, after all that. Jeez Louise. I mean, still not dead, bro. Oh, God, we got dead dead already. Jog on. Filthy thing. Ay, ay, ay. There you go. That's what I was trying to do. Just put one of those. Invisible enemies. Never, uh, never, never something I'm uh, super happy about. Jeez. Jeez, the ways. like I have to get down get down he's gonna do a little dance for us does look like we're falling down here Wherever it here is. <laughs> All right, four matches there. I have to remember those. Come back for me if possible. Apparently, Red Mage, let me thank you for keeping me alive. Mm. Thank you, sir.
pretty sure we've got more invisible enemies coming up. have a problem I think they walk her directly at you kind of how am I supposed to deal with him now I've no idea where he is you know what Jimmy Jenkins it. We up, bro. We up, yeah. Yeah. Jeez. I got a thousand uh, gel from him. That's pretty good. Oh, I found matches that were there. That sucks. Those, uh, Maybe the explosive bolt, maybe. Stick it on the ground when no one's coming. Problem is, when shit, when all that crap's moving around, I can't tell if it's me or uh, or if it's uh, whatever's coming on its way. They're tough as well. They're not like normal enemies that just happen to be invisible. God, he was right there. He's not dead. Oh, tragic. Does it come through the door? It might. Oh, yeah, it is. Awful things. Oh, we've lost uh, our heal there. Let's use it now. There we go. Key card. One of the hospital staff has blood on its of its previous owner on it. Oh, I mean, really? Surprise, surprise. I was shocked if it didn't have blood on it. Got a 
Concord Knight. I'm just gonna. Oh. oh. Oh, there we go. That seemed uh, reasonable. Reload the shotgun. Moving on. Ruvik again. What's he up to? Sometimes it seems like he's trying to attack us, and other times it seems like he's leading us somewhere. Interesting. Uh oh. Okay, so we've got a door there. Have a little look through there. How curious, I've got a door there. Okay, so we've got a ghostly figure. The first one was that, like, it seemed to be like a child. And we've got someone working on uh, a corpse, and that's like maybe someone in a. Uh Can we look at them all again? Yeah. Child drawing things on the wall. Uh, guy in a wheelchair reading or writing? Writing, looks like maybe. And then do mess around a dead body. Um, let's go for the. If maybe we've got to do them in um, age order, and then we go. We got the uh, we got Bok again. Obviously, it was somebody's uh, favourite song at some point. Okay. Sunflower, or uh, some other. I'm not sure what kind of flower that is. I see sunflower there on the wall. Let's just try the sunflower. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, I see. That's leading us there. For now. Oh, how very disturbing. Here we go. Legion Cage wants uh, a little stretch. Thank you, Cage. He's a good guy, really. Oh. Mm. oh, wow. My God. Oh, you got uh, working a bit, Cage, I assume. Oh, oh, jeez.
Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Assimilation of a subject's consciousness. What is going on in this world? Pain and brainstem that's centered on insertion point. Followed by gradual onset of hemorrhaging as capillaries dilate. Over time, degradation of the ego generates strong suicidal tendencies. They lose who they are and become clay, completely reshapeable in my image. Oh. But not me. Something keeps me from staying completely within. That Ruvix notes, is he the one doing the experiments? Or did the experiments? This is the portrayal of his uh, his life here. So what was this? What was going on? Okay, so now we've got... Some kind of little uh, amoeba thing. Cell. And then it looks like the same thing with uh, the tail on it. There we go. The one with the tail. Lovely. Can we get a blood trail? Yeah. Lead in there. I guess we're going to do the third one. Third and final. Oh, you did in the mornings, are you, Cage? Or you're out? Oh, so you're at work at a minute, or you just got in from work? Oh. It's that symbol. Very freaky. God, all freakish torture devices. <laughs> I think it's there's three cogs, wasn't it? Yeah. And that happens if you get it wrong, maybe you just took a little bit of damage. There we go, we've got the symbol again. Oh, Joseph. Weird. Some kind of he's not dead at least, is really. Thank God you're okay. No. Well, thank God you're okay. How do you how do you know he's okay? Does he look okay to you? Bruh. I don't know what I am. But it's definitely not okay. Yeah, exactly. Tell him. No, we just found you. Jesus. What happened? My head feels like... Like... Do you hear that? We need to get out of here. Can you move? Yeah, I... Joseph! He can't move. Easily. Oh, okay. You can heal your uh, partner. 
I've still got a little fight left in me. Okay, all right, he's got a health bar and everything. Interesting. You're right, buddy. You'll be fine. There we go. Let's get out of here fast. Again, not fast. And there's no there's seemingly no getting out of here. It's weird, Sebastian, considering he's a detective. He doesn't seem he doesn't seem to uh kind of um comprehend the fact that then you know they're not in a real reality they're in some kind of weird place which is presumably controlled by this ruvik individual so for him to be, oh let's get out of it i know don't get me wrong you can't just sit down and do nothing you've got to do something there seems to be a way that you can survive and somehow fight against this uh dimension you're trapped in but him being like oh quick we've got to move fast let's go Go where? What are you talking about, bruh? Probably much safer to take your time. In reality. Alright, we'll go here. There's always something in lockers. Including dead bodies. Gonna get burnt. Bullets. Nice. More gel. Chocolate shells. Nothing. 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 We could probably bait something into that. And in fact, you see now, have you? Keep your eyes peeled. That's uh. Get one of them at least. Or two. Three. Or four. Oh, oh, okay. This is not dead. He did now? Oh, okay. He was he was in his throes of dying. Joseph just stood there uh, ignoring it. Interesting. Alright, buddy. Both works for you. Not for me to judge. He's, ha he's having issues, though, at the minute, isn't he? Nothing is as it seems. Nothing. We don't even know if it's really Joseph at this point, do we? Well, I think we can assume it is, but... Still... I can see you there a second ago, bro. Oh, that's because we can't fill up the way. <laughs> Almost uh, got enough for um, a spare bullet. Oh, take that. Thank you very much.
Almost got enough to uh, double the uh, carrier capacity of uh, handgun bullets, which as soon as we keep finding a few and then we are leaving a one on, odd one and two behind here and there, probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. But uh, we shall we shall see when we get there. Wow, what is this? This looks pretty sophisticated. Why would they put a bomb like this? Do you think we can get past it? Stand back. Let me see if I can disarm it. Okay. Right, how did he manage that? Curious. Oh, oh dear. It's nice to meet you, Joseph. Oh. It seems whatever um, influence Ruvik has to turn people into these zombies, he seems to have that influence on Joseph as well. Uh, but he seems to fight against it then. Really, I thought I don't know what came over me. <coughs> I haven't been feeling well, but <sighs> look, let's just get out of here. There's something wrong with this place. I don't remember Sebastian being such a... a goober. Let's get out of here. There's something wrong with this place. Really, bro? Really? Yeah. Okay. In its defense, obviously, this is the English translation. It's, it's a Japanese game. So they've kind of... Maybe the fa the uh, the localization team that translated this English were not really thinking about the context of the story. They were just like, "Oh, I'll just translate this." Oh, he says it's nothing wrong with this place. There we go. That'll do. It's just I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I th you know, I'm sure you can see what I'm getting at. matches and shotgun shells nice probably very much needed and uh, explosive bolts a, a, an, an explosive bolt and small reprieve seemingly now where do I check how much gel I've got don't have enough I'm gonna go without we need to move yeah we've got a checkpoint anyway Oh. That's, uh... Seems to be a Kidman. About to get drowned. Wait a minute. It's another trap. Look. Oh, boy. It's much more loud. Uh... But are you? Hold on, I'm coming. Not that way, not. I can't handle them on my own. 
Yeah, I'm on my way, buddy. I'm on my way, little buddy. Oh no. You have any first aid? Maybe. Oh no. Okay. Joseph got deaded. Uh, we gotta try again. We gotta do this with presumably neither uh Joseph nor Kidman dying. So I guess we technically we didn't die. But I would imagine in the stats of the game that would consider a death. Not our death, it was Joseph's death death, but you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, at least I've got a better idea of what is uh, currently going on. Right. Joseph, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, are you fine? Get down here. Hold on, I'm coming. Oh, I thought they were both dead. Oh my god. Oh no. Oof. Okay, alright. Well, oh my god, that, okay, that's a death. So including Joseph's death, that's 12. Get a counter. Alright, oh, okay. I just need more skills. I guess we'll pull out the shotgun, maybe. Keep those headshots. Keep missing. We do, we do need to move, this is true. Joseph, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I think you better get down here. But are ya? Mr. Shit, let's hurry it up. Nice, okay, I'm after that. Alright, give him one of those. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. All of them. This is how many there are. Let me, uh... Go for, let's go for our grenade. Hopefully that doesn't, uh... Nice! Watch out! They've got 
Oh, jeez. Dynamite gonna there we go. Well, he's, he was totally stood next to it. All right. How do we turn this off? Both Kidman. Come on! Sebastian, they're above us. That may as be. We don't have time to uh worrying about that. And it's in one of these side rooms, this, uh, a valve or something. It's not, uh, not that way, is it? <sighs> Difficult to go completely the wrong way. Uh, through here. Shock bolt. Okay, I'll skip over reading about that. But never mind. Uh oh, that's handy. I don't know. I'm supposed to be going. Got me this way, right? This is the only way I've. Uh direction I've not been. No, maybe not. Unless it opens up after we've killed everything. I remember being on like a something of a time limit though. Watch out, they've got dynamite. Oh. I hope so. More of them on the move. Oh jeez. <laughs> Don't be a hero. Back off. Oh my god. Anymore. Watch out, they've got dynamite. Oh. Come on. Oh, f oh, no, oh, no, I got blown to pieces after all that. Okay, that's thirteen. I think we got a checkpoint in the middle of that fight, though. I think we did. Sebastian, they're above us. Yes, we're now.
<laughs> oh my god okay so you got you got to make sure you definitely shoot them i should just put out my gun I, I, was, I was trying to throw the axe and uh, that's not a thing i think that's 14 oh my god that creature aye 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 okay let's uh <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I... I'm sure we can collect all the supplies at the end, but... Probably better to, uh... You know, do it a bit sooner than later. Sebastian, they're above us. Find cover. They're shooting. Oh no. I'm not going to worry about picking things up. Do that afterwards. That's 15. Uh, <laughs> uh. Yeah, well, I guess once we uh, clear this chapter, then we'll take a little break. Right, they're above us. They're shooting, are they? I'm ready for them. Jeez. Right, okay, this guy down here. Oh, I don't believe there's one more somewhere. Who's that? Who is that it? Nope. I think there's still something nearby. Yep. More of them on the move. Don't be a hero. Back off. Get in there and get another match. Oh no! Really? Are you all right? Not really. We will be. Oh, okay. I see. Probably don't want to be using this in combat. It's the uh, answer to that. Yep, working on it, Kidman. Oh, I was missing those headshots. I'm terrible. Now that's got to be... Oh, there's one more over there. Watch out. Got dynamite. 
No. No. Go away. Oh, God. Jeez Louise. You think? Damn it. That was close. You'd better come have a look at this. Oh, I think she's got a minute. Wowee. Okay. Hey! Slick and in, bruh. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I am feeling it. I'm definitely feeling it. How you doing, buddy? You alright? Good morning to you. Right, I don't think she dies. I think um I think if you play on uh, a Kumu there is like a time on that all that mess. I think uh she's gonna be fine. Give me a second to run around and uh, gather all the items. There we go. Shoot can read uh, Shock bolt. Warhead for the agony crossbow, uh, which will immobilize enemies who come into contact with it via an electric shock. It can be placed on things like floors and walls and even enemies. Okay. I guess it does damage, but... Presumably not as much as uh, the harpoon directly. I can't get the thing open. I think there's another control panel around here. We're running out of time. Yes. Where do these cables go? I'll go. Tell me what to do. Okay, now we're on a timer. We also got a checkpoint. Okay, yeah. The gate's mysteriously open now. And... Almost got yeeted. No shizzle, Sherlock. I thought your name was Detective Joseph. Not Detective Holmes. It's got the same kind of dials, right? Yeah. Yeah, a top one and a bottom one. Set the upper dial to 22 and the lower dial to 5. How, how he knows that. Oh god, now they've fallen through the floor. Like you do. Joseph, Kidman. I bet I guess we better We get after him, I guess. Hang on, I'm coming. I don't know how comfortable I'll just be jumping down there like that. Where'd they go? Okay, there's no other exit. Well, they may have just vanished because we're in uh, we're in psychopaths uh, imaginary uh, fantasy land, aren't we? So anything, anything, can, anything goes, isn't it? Oh, 
Here we go. The gore. This <laughs> wild. Gunshots. Kidman, you there? I thought there's something up here. There we go. I come for a few of those bullets that are completely wasted. Just random corpses. I mean, this is a freaky, to say the least. Oh my god, seriously. There we go. <laughs> hey, 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 oh, hello. Oh, look at this lad. All shards of glass in him. My god, freaky. There you go. Are you guys all right? Where are we? I mean, is anybody all right <laughs> in this situation? <laughs> It's sort of cool that you. I wonder if. I don't think so. I, that, that's uh, tied into the story. Is it cool that you can kind of heal your partner, Joseph, and he doesn't cost any healing items? No uh, specific or particular reason. All right, where are we going then, kids? It looks like the there door's go. locked from the other side. Sebastian, maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. All right. Let's get going. Very presumptuous that it would work like that. We should go. We should. Got the heels, she's wearing. <laughs> A bit over the top. I'm glad you're both alright. It's odd, though. 
Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. Yeah, Ruvik. Oh my god. But Voldemort, don't say his name. Or he's gonna he's gonna squack you. Another one of those doors. Now we definitely should save at this point. We go wedding invitation. Detective Sebastian Castellanos and Detective Mira Hansen joyfully request the pleasure of your company at the wedding celebration. Saturday, the 17th of September, 2005, at half past 12, the Veranda Hotel, Crimson City, reception to follow. There we go. Let's uh, go and see the nurse. I don't know. I don't know. What have we forgotten? Fernando. Missing. Fernando Cabrera. Psychiatric patient, patient escaped from Beacon Mental Hospital. He's seriously ill in need of constant supervision. Okay, well, I guess we'll keep an eye out for him. Whatever that even means. Parishiona found. The Parishiona. Parishiona. Is someone who attended church? Found in mental... Missing Parishiona found in a uh, mental hospital. These claims are absolutely outrageous. Uh, Parishiona Fernando Cabrera, missing for eight years, found committed in Beacon Mental Hospital, claims parish was a cult. Erica, oi, oi! How you doing, Erica? See, I see that pineapple on your pizza. What, what are you doing with that? What are you doing about that? <laughs> I don't blame you. I wouldn't put. I wouldn't choose to put it there. I'm, I'm not a hater either. You know what I'm saying? Um, here we go. So let's um spend our gel. How you doing, my dear? We're gonna um. Take a quick, quick little break in a second. I'll make coffee and then we're going to um, have a little chat for a bit, I guess. Uh, so we go. We want to go for stocks first. Yeah, let's do it. Nip it in the bud early in the game. Greatly increased carry capacity for our handgun bullets. Uh, I guess we'll take some extra matches. Why not? It's not they're fairly cheap. We have been leaving a few behind. What do for now. Just waking up, are you, my dear? You make coffee too. You know, I don't feel you have to. You know, well, you do whatever you want to do. What am I talking about? <laughs> Gray? Who's Gray? Are your boyfriend? Did someone had you up all night? Oh, man. I'd say I'm not jelly, but that'd be a lie. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, in stream. Okay. Well, either way. Alright, I won't. <laughs> Oh, G-Ray, sorry, I've... G-Ray, I was going to say, he'd be so lucky. My God. I mean, he is a... He's a good-looking fellow, isn't he? He's G-Ray. But still, he try... Come on, Erica, you trying to break my heart, Erica? What are you doing? What are you doing to me? But no, seriously, I'm playing. <laughs> um, that seems like a reasonable place to leave it. Okay. 
I know you just got here, Erica, but um, we shall uh, we'll take a three minute break right now. And oh, actually, hang on. One thing I do want to do before we do that. We're running low on supplies. We do have a few handgun bullets back here, don't we? That we got out of our uh, out of our lockers here. And as we just increased our capacity, we can uh, definitely go for those. Excellent. Uh, okay, we've got still got a couple of meds there. We'll wait on those. Yes, we'll take our three-minute break. I'll go make coffee and then we'll come back and we'll chat. Um, I'm going to mention the, t the Twitch thing. Uh, this new increased ad revenue, which uh, isn't what it sounds. Leave you alone. Uh, there's plenty of people lurking, so you're, not al you're definitely not alone. And you'll be in my thoughts when I'm... Uh Ugh, making coffee, so uh, <laughs> leave it there a second. So uh, bear with me, folks. Uh, I'll be right back about three minutes.
Oh, I sort to keep you waiting there, folks. <laughs> yeah, sorry to keep keep you. Ah, uh, uh, a little stretch. Oh dear me! <sighs> no reason to be tired. Um, Scotty's here uh, at uh, Ohio. Which, um, I mean, it's like here where it gets all, all the weird weather. Jeez. Louise. Okay, yeah, Jack's, uh, Patrons just uh, gone through. Let me just check it on here. I should probably sort that out. Um, that'd, be, that'd be an idea, wouldn't it? Would be an idea. Steph! Only saw half your name there. I saw, I saw a yellow A... ABs. I was like, oh, no, that is. Have a little look. Yeah, it's gone through. So let me uh, sort Jack out over here with it. I'll get him uh, invited on Discord as well. Hey, right, Dennis Steph. Is it not Erica? God, I, th I think you're the only person is uh, not the only pl <laughs> the only place maybe. Um, Seconds. Don't spill your coffee. That'd be stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, I Steph. Excellent. I'm pretty good. I'm very good, in fact. Apart from the the heat, maybe. That's fine. I can live with that. How you doing, my dear? Yeah, humid heat is whoa. Well, dry heat is far more manageable. Unless maybe uh, you're just used to it, Erica. I don't know. Uh, there we go. I think that's what done. Yes, there we go. Let me uh, jump over here. Let me find uh, young Jack. I think he must have gone to work, but I'll send him an invite for later. Where are you at, Jack? He's vanished. Be a sec, folks. Uh, oh, there he is. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I'm oh, sorry. I was looking in the wrong place. Sorry. There we go. I want to uh, point to server. There's no show. There we go. So hopefully we'll get that later. We can uh, sort that out. Right, there we go. Get rid of that. All done. All done for now. I need to get their votes in, though. Uh, and basically, uh, yeah, you can double up vote, but uh, I think it's not in their best interest. I think you're better to put one vote on two things, and that will guarantee what's what's coming up. Um, damn. <laughs> Cagewood. <laughs> uh, moving some bots. What bots? What's going on with the bots? <laughs> Cage is such a cynic, isn't he? He's like, sure. Well, if you say so. He's like, no, we... We, we, do, we do say so. <laughs> um... Yeah, okay, I think I've taken care of all of that. Let's go with that. There we go. Um, you got follow botted. Oh, God, how many, Steph? Jeez Louise. What even is that? Who, who, who would who would even think to do that? I've never had that. I mean, you get a a little over four hundred, and they just came in a flood, like the third time. That's ridiculous. You got rid of them all, though. Something. Jeez. <laughs> I feel that like Steph is definitely not a robot. Nah. So it popped off, but it wasn't actually doing anything. <laughs> but still, you still have to uh, go through. Erica, you're almost 21. My God. That's exciting for you, isn't it? You got anything special special planned? How how do you know that uh robots don't have feelings? Maybe you're a robot and you don't know it. But I don't think they uh they they're building robots uh so so convincingly at the moment. They were aware of. They might be they're just not telling us about it. Um, well, well, thank you, Erica. I, I appreciate that. I love you too. My God. Uh, Balthea, good day to you, sir. A four-hour walk? My God. Yeah, no, you, will, you will feel tired and you will feel good. Getting after it, buddy. So, Balthea, let me ask you this. Um... Was it over the past year, six months, you got back into being a bit more like physically active? How do you feel the difference? Ne the, how you feel now? I mean, not the most right moment, because you feel tired, but uh, how you feel now to, compared to before you started uh, getting back on it? Uh, I have a memory of it out there, but it's true that I don't remember what it feels like. <laughs> I don't remember the feeling. <laughs> Uh, 
I was sick for a day, Erica, and I thought I was going to die. It's awful. I don't, I don't know. I don't get sick. I feel people who are not used to being ill, when you are, you're like, it's worse because you're not used to it. <laughs> not that anyone should be used to being ill, of course, but, um, but I hope you're all having a good day so far, folks. Uh, whether it's first thing in the morning or uh, early evening. Um, or lunchtime, for some of you. Uh, so, let's talk about the elephant in the room. That elephant's name is Twitch. And the elephant went... Elephants don't make that noise, but Twitch elephant does. And you're like, what are you, what are you, what are you doing, Twitch? But no, there was a... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, where is it? Um, where we at? Where we at? Twitch news. Here we go. Yes, uh, Smart's chucked it up there. This, I got this. Uh, yeah, going from the marketing department, a message to all streamers, presumably. Rona hates you. Yeah, Rona hates everyone, Erica. So don't worry about it. Um... Okay, try and get uh, um, So it says, coming soon, earn a bigger, and I think, you know, it's supposed to be larger, if they, you know, Twitch New English. Uh, but anyway, earn a bigger 55% ad revenue split. Head to the ads manager and say your ads to three minutes per hour to unlock this rate. Now, I assume, firstly, I assume everybody got offered that. I don't think it was like, specific people i think everybody got it um now first first they consider 50 they say they say we'll offer you 55 percent split they've never said nowhere on your affiliation contract as far as i'm aware i didn't read the whole thing Swing! oh <laughs> steph thank you for uh thank you for chucking that at me i appreciate it uh I um nowhere does it uh as far as I'm aware to say what the split is. They just give you a base rate. That base rate is three and a half dollars, and it's never changed in the year and a half I've been streaming. Um, three and a half dollars per thousand ad views. So I'm going to assume that much like your subs and your gift subs, it's fifty percent split. I feel that's um. Well, thank you for the lurk, Sweeney. I appreciate that. Uh, I I feel that we can kind of... F let's assume... Seems like a safe assumption, fair assumption, that the current split is 50%, 50-50. Or uh, that's what they claim, or whatever it is. I don't know. Let's say it is. Let's say the advertisers give Twitch $7 per... Uh, for, uh, you know, for... um. A thousand ad views, and then we get three and a half dollars of that, and Twitch keeps three and a half dollars of that. So if they're boosting up to fifty-five percent, let's pull out the little a little calculator. Here. Uh, yeah. Okay. So another. So five percent is thirty-five cents. So what they're so essentially what they're saying is um they're going to uh rather than if you sign up to this rather than you getting three dollars fifty for every thousand ad views you'll get three dollars eighty five that's what I'm reading it as per per one thousand ad views though. So, and this is just conjecture. We don't, I don't know this for certain. But I just ran a three-minute ad when I was making coffee. Firstly, I don't know how many ad views that counts as. I guess it depends on how many ads pop up. Most ads, when on Twitch, seem to be 30 seconds long. I don't think I've seen any longer. So if we assume that the average ad is 30 seconds, I've chucked out six ads there. So you times six by the number of viewers. Let's round it off at 20. We did this yesterday. 
So me running that ad there, that's 120 ad views I get. So we'll pull up the calculator again. Um, and let's say, so it's like a, it's like a pee break as well. Let's, you know, which I do usually. I haven't taken it yet today. But I'll need to go and take a 60 second break at some point. So that's another two ads. So on an average eight hour stream. And to be fair, when we were doing uh, four hour streams, it probably would have been the same time. But on, so on, a, on, a, on a stream, we're doing eight times 20 average. I'm probably getting about 160 ad views per uh, per stream. So if we, so how so how much is that? Oh uh, my god! Uh, so we're gonna go times 160 uh, by a uh, thousand, then divide by 3.5. And divide by three fifty. No, I'm, a ma I'm not good at maths, uh, <laughs> even with the calculator. Uh, and it was my strongest subject at school, so I don't know what that kind of tells you about me. Uh, <laughs> um, sorry, let me move this. Uh, mm. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Uh, So we want to. Oh my god, I can't do math. Okay, so we do 160. So if we do three three point five, or do 350 times by a thousand divided by 160, that should get what we want. I believe. Uh, no, there we go. Divide that by a thousand times by 160. There we go. There we go. So here we go. This is the final answer. Sorry about that. So I am getting a 56 cents per stream from ad revenue. That's what I'm getting. That's what Twitch is paying me. Uh, and they are saying that they, if and that's me doing my regular ads. They're saying that they will increase that by an extra 5%. So that's uh, 10 is going to be... Um, I'm divided by 56, divided by 20. There we go. An extra 2.8 cents they will give me per stream. If I conform to what they want to do. Yes, that's right. 2 point eight cents per stream does this does that seem like a lot of money to you guys now i don't have very much money um but that that doesn't seem like enough <laughs> yeah don't exactly don't yeah don't spend it all at once so what they want you to do to get that extra now obviously this is relative to me now if we assume that some so basically if we if we um assume that somebody ran a stream and they ran the same amount of ads that i do on average uh but you've got they've got 200 average viewers that would get them 28 cents if they got uh 2000 viewers that's going to get them two dollars eighty two dollars eighty extra so it's basically only of value to somebody who has thousands of viewers on average even then we're still talking relative pocket change as opposed to actual <laughs> pennies um but to do this it, you have to commit to uh three minutes worth of ads every hour now that probably doesn't sound like much three minutes and, and an hour that's 5% of your entire stream forever is ads. 5% of everything on stream is ads. 
yeah, I think you have to res you have to respect it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now I've seen some streamers who have tens of thousands. So if we take that up to the next level, if you had 20,000 viewers, yeah, if you've got 20,000 viewers, Stick Nick, then yes, you are getting a chunk of change every time you run an ad. Yeah, if it's three, yeah, if it's three uh, and a half dollars per thousand, if you got ten thousand. Yeah, so you could run one thirty-second ad. And if you've got ten thousand viewers, that's thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars, right in your hand. There is, get us ten thousand viewers and drop some thirty-second ads. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thirty thirty-five dollars. Some people, are like, that's not a lot of money. That's not a lot of money to me. That's a lot of freaking money to me. Uh, ch yeah, chunky money. <laughs> yeah, red mate. You see what I'm saying? Here's my point I'm trying to get at, guys. I guess I went a bit around about way of doing that. Um, is that this this scheme they're introducing? They want you to just click a button in your settings so it automatically runs ads. You don't. Oh, you don't even have to do them manually. The stream will do them for you. They want to do that, and they go, "Oh, an extra five percent." It it is of no benefit to small streamers literally i'm going to use that as the benchmark folks if you are turning this automatic ads on to have this scheme of you know you, you want to get an extra five percent ad revenue uh for committing five percent of your entire stream to be ads for the rest of your life three minutes every every hour every single hour forever it is literally not you are going to get pennies unless you are someone who has minimum minimum a thousand average viewers all the to at all times oh but it is i've got 800 not worth it i've got oh, i've got 950 is not worth it sit up and shut down and list sit up and shut down <laughs> sit down and shut up i know what i'm saying so i'm getting getting off one no i'm telling you i'm bloody telling you but it is i've got 990 viewers and it's not enough I've got 990. No, a thousand is the minimum. A thousand is the minimum. Don't even do it otherwise. Okay. <laughs> Who knows, Red Mage? Uh, and here, and this. Okay, so so we've all, so we've established that unless you have a lot of average viewers, like a lot, a crazy amount compared to what I'd get and what most of us get. It's not worth doing. It's technically not even worth the hassle. But here's why you shouldn't do it anyway. Even if I had 20,000 viewers, $35 is no. No, integrity is better than worth more than $35. Let me tell you. You can't put a price on integrity. That's the most valuable thing. Nothing more valuable. Some people would disagree. But there we go. So here's the reason. If you are, if you consider yourself a, a content creator, I don't really like that term. I just call myself a streamer, whatever. But whatever you want to call it, what this chatting bit or me playing the game or whatever we're doing, that's the that's the stream. That's the content. There should not be no ad running. I shouldn't inflict ads upon you just because I'm trying to make money. I want you to enjoy your time here, like all the time. I there's no problems running ads when there's nothing going on. If I've got a step away to pee. There's nothing going on. I might as well run an ad. If I'm stepping out to make coffee, there's nothing going on. I might as well run an ad, get a few pennies. There's nothing wrong with that. But if I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to click here. Oh, look, there's 22 people here. Let me click and run a 30-second ad. Sleep Mick won't see the ad. Legion Cage won't see the ad because they're currently subbed. Everyone else, you've got to, you've got to watch an ad. You don't get to hear the 30 seconds of the conversation. Why would I do that to you? I must some kind of a dickhead. I'm like, <laughs> don't answer that, Legion Cage. Uh, <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? Um, and some people, I've seen people use this argument. So there's a there's a setting, you know, pre-roll ads. We've all seen them. That's when you click on a stream, whether it's uh, one you've been to before or not. And you get an ad before you get to get into the stream. And that counts as ad, an ad view for the streamer. They're called pre-roll ads. 
the ad you have to watch before the show rolls before you see what's going on um there's no option to turn those off as a streamer you cannot turn them off at like completely you have two options one is basically they're on all the time regardless literally anybody at all apart from someone who subs because obviously they're exempt from uh ads i wonder if there's any sick and twisted streamers that make their their subscribers watch ads there's got to be one or two psychopaths out there um but yeah you can have pre-roll ads on so they're on all the time so literally anybody clicks on your stream doesn't matter they're going to get a pre-roll ad or you can have the option which i and everybody should set this on being that if a certain period of time you have manually run an ad in stream that that disables pre-roll ads for a minute that's a good thing because that obviously means that for a small window of time there is a chance that somebody who clicks on your stream whether they're new or the regular won't have to see that pre-roll ad because one has just run previously so you'd, everyone should turn that setting on unfortunately there's no you can't disable it completely now i have seen people argue this they say that regardless of whichever way they've got this setting on and i would hope that they have what i've just suggested as the saying or you know they kind of i would consider them maybe a little bit hypocritical but they say this i run regular ads in my stream because that disables the pre-roll ads uh and that assists people coming in because some people do it oh, i've done it as well you click on a brand new stream you know i'll see something on the twitch homepage. you might like this channel is nib oh okay let me click on that and see um pre-roll ad okay i don't want to see enough to sit through an ad I'll see you later <laughs> you know so that that's their mentality and that that makes sense right of course it does of course it does but here's the thing why am i trying to help out potential new viewers to come in here and hang out with us at sacrificing you guys it's almost i should be treating you guys better than potential new people that uh, that mentality is saying the viewers that i don't have at the minute are more important than the viewers that i currently do have which anybody who takes that attitude can jog the actual on they're they're entitled to do what they want with their life and ha you know they have their own morality and ethics and twitch obviously encourages them to do whatever they want whoever's going to get the most uh, ad views that's that's twitch's bottom line but come on don't be treating people like <sighs> I don't know. I've gone off rant. Does, that, does anything I've said make sense? <laughs> why Why you shouldn't do that? You see what I'm saying? Of course you should disable the pre-rolls as much as possible of those two options. Do it so the temporarily gets disabled. Definitely do that. But I, I firmly believe that you should not set up automated ads that is ruining the show for your viewers and I've, I've literally saw someone say well yeah if you don't like it then you should sub to me and i was like go i thought i thought i was a scumbag who only cared about money that's what some people seem to think <laughs> i was like how dare you say that to your viewers you should be approaching twitch with the idea that this is a, a free entertainment service that you're putting out there it's free you know donation based if you want to if you if you like the free content enough then then chuck some money and support but being like yeah i run ads because money and if you don't like it then give me money oh oh yeah i'm not i'm not about that i'm not about that 100 percent slick mick they do so i'm gonna catch up on you there yeah so <laughs> ad stream yeah can you imagine that oh, you know what i'm sure they would they would get around this but you could um i wonder if you could i don't think it would be worth the time or effort and i'm sure they've got ways around this but i wonder if in some weird way you could like game the system imagine if we did an eight hour stream of just ads uh 20 of you lurked got crazy amount of like ad views and then split the money it still wouldn't be enough money to make it worth it. 
uh, but they, they must be uh that must not be possible because um they would notice that and and somebody would have tried that before now if that was a possibility um oh no balthier what, what how did i end up here but that's just my thoughts on it folks again to reiterate and there might be small streamers like us who see that and go, oh, that's a good thing. I should do that. It's like, no, do the maths. Do the maths and realize it. the only... Again, repeat it. Anybody who has that feature turned on and has less than a 1,000 concurrent viewers, you're wasting your time. Don't, don't, don't even bother. Don't even bother. And again, turning on automated ads, don't do it. You... you you owe it to your viewers who are there, whether it's one person or a th a th one, one million people. Respect them. Give them respect. If you guys, seriously, if you guys ever feel like I'm disrespecting you, not giving you the respect that y you are due, have a word with me. Tell me how it is. You know, sometimes I'm, you can be too close to something. You need to be pulled back and have a look at the, the big picture. You let me know. But, you know, it's important to me that you guys now respect you. Make the ads, uh, you feel disrespected. But you like it. You like it, Cage. Get in the dungeon. No. <laughs> um... You know, that's a different kind of disrespect. That's like that's like fun time disrespect. But you see what I'm saying, folks? And this is not my judgment. If you're if you're a friend of mine and you're a fellow streamer and you're like, well, actually is, I disagree with you and I, I think I'm okay with, you know, having automated ads r r ruining my show. That's fine. I'm not I'm not judging you. I, you know, I have standards for myself which I don't put on other people because other people ain't me. Other people haven't, don't think like me, don't function like me, don't, haven't, haven't seen what I've seen, haven't done what I've done, haven't been where I've been, you know, so that's fine, but no, if, on the set, it's like, imagine if Squidge, in Squidge's book, be like, here you go, Squidge's book, oh, page one, oh, yeah, oh, this is good, okay, oh, we get to page 25, and you flip out, and it's like a, an advert, the whole page is an advert, you're like, what? Yeah, you don't have to read it, sure. But it, it would make her artwork, it would make her book jank if it had ads in it. Would, do you see what I'm saying? But, and the ad company's like, yeah, but Squidge, money Squidge. Squidge's like, yeah, but but my artwork is more, the, the, the sanctity of my art is more important than a bit of money. Any amount of money. Akuma! <laughs> Hardcore disagrees. You know... Um, that's what it'd be like. This got, he's got, you know, so, I don't know. I get it, it's, it's tough all over. It's tough, the world's crazy. It's all craziness, it's all breaking down. It's all going the way of the chaos of, in the foreseeable future. But, you've got to be true to yourself. Be true to yourself, folks. What do you think is the best thing to do? What is the most important to you? Most important thing for me is to respect you guys. And I'm going to uh, not do that. You'll get ads when I'm not here. You'll get ads when there's no show. The show is on hiatus. You know, we're on a break. We're on a literal break. Not, oh, hey there, Red Mage. And Red Mage is like, oh, hey, it is. Oh, and then immediately an ad comes up. And I'm like, yeah, how's, how's your day going, Red Mage? And he doesn't hear any of it because he's got to listen to, like, some bro trying to sell him Coca-Cola or something. And he's like, yeah, so, so, yeah sorry, is. Um, I didn't hear what you said there, buddy. I, I got an ad. And I'm just like, well, like, now I've, I've got to repeat myself or I've got to go, screw Red Mage. Red Mage, don't you understand, buddy? You're just here. as You're just a number. You're just one of my viewers, Red Mage. You're just here to watch ads, Red Mage. Do you understand that, sir? That's all you are to me. No. No, we're not playing that game. We're not doing that game. I don't care 
if there's like a thousand people here if there's a thousand viewers i'd want to know everyone's name i want to say everyone's name we do an eight hour just chatting stream and the whole eight hours would be me just re keep saying hello to everyone just catching up on chat you'd all be like i'd be like in the past you'd be like, oh is there a bit of lag on this stream because uh is talking about something that somebody said like an hour ago oh no, oh no he's just catching up on chat <laughs> do you know what i'm saying do you know what I'm saying? I wonder these like twenty thousand viewer streamers. They don't, they don't know. They they don't got a community. Yeah, sure. There's probably you know they've got a few moderators that they're friends with. I'm not. Yeah. God damn it. God damn it. Red mage. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I don't want to be that guy. I do. I, you know. You guys know me. I do want to do this for a living. I do want to do this. So like, I want to be here. Like five, ten. 50 years from now I'll, i can commit to that but uh i, I hope so uh, <laughs> uh things allowing but uh you just what's what's the expect start as you mean to go on put your best foot forward do the do the right thing don't think oh well i'm not i'm, I'm not gonna think what the right thing is or um oh well nobody else does the right thing so why should i Ah. Anyway, but, well, <laughs> Steph, th thanks, thank, you, thank you for being here, Steph. Thank you for the lurk. Thanks for being you. I can only be myself, folks. This is how it is. This is what it is. Um, yeah, exactly. Yes, very important profit. <laughs> Watch this ads. Red Mage, coming to you. That's what next stream. What you, Red Mage is like, oh, you just play Vagrant Story. Uh, uh, is oh yeah uh i need you to, i need you to watch eight hours worth of ads first red mage no no let's not do that yeah i've seen some weird ones red mage i've seen ones of, like the streamers literally going eh what you guys should sim to me why don't you sim to me god it's not much money it's like oh yeah if i ever do that you know get over here and uh you know get balthier to come down here and kick me in the head you know what i'm saying i'm not having that anyway thank you thank you for the lurk steph and thank you everyone for being here and this is my rant did i get across what i'm trying to you know it would be different if it was um if say twitch reached out to me personally or any of you personally it was like we have a unique and specific deal for you we know you're here we know you're trying to make money um this you know, this is what we want from you like you know a contract you get you you give us this and we will give you this then it's different then it's you've got to consider the uh the, the, the details the ins and outs of what that is but just to go hey guys five percent extra ad revenue if you play one thousand percent more ads Urgh. do you know what i mean imagine if it, <laughs> if it's like the tree if you <laughs> we'll give you five percent more ad revenue if you play five percent more ads than you usually do okay cool i'll do one extra 30 second ad once a month how about that how about that we can do that we can do that that's fine but no would you you're just gonna go to like who's, who's the top streamer um, I may I don't uh, I don't really I don't know if I follow any of the top streamers. Um, Asmon Gold he gets a lot of viewers, doesn't he? Imagine if he was just like, ah, all right, guy, what? Oh, Asmon Gold, what are we doing today, buddy? Oh, right, you're just gonna, I'm just gonna do whatever, and you, 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 forty thousand people are just gonna watch these ads for eight hours. No, we're not going to do that, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you are, because you, you're my bitches, ain't you? Do, 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 what, do what daddy tells you. <laughs> what? No, anyway. That was the rant, folks. I hope you, you know, if anybody wants to discuss this or any other streaming-related stuff, um, you know, we can, we can do that on or off stream. Because uh, I'm, I'm very fascinated with it. I'm very into it, you know. Uh, you know, this is my life. This is literally my life. You guys are my life. You know, I can't afford for you to move in, but... <laughs> you see what... 
I just, you know, I feel like whatever you're doing in life, there's some uh, degree of, uh, you've got some degree of um, self-respect uh, and introspection and perspective. And, uh, you know, look, look what's, what is the right thing to do. That is the right thing to do. <laughs> Balthier, yeah. Yeah. Erica. Yeah, it wasn't really information. It was just rant, wasn't it, my dear? It's just... <laughs> I just feel oh, this is this this Twitch streamer thing is very important to me, me. You guys are very important to me, and we have to deal with Daddy Twitch, which yes, on one hand gives with one hand takes with the other. You know, it's like yes, I'm very grateful to be able to s stream on your platform for free. I wouldn't have met any of you guys without it. But on the other hand, they, they you know they tell it's like, ah, oh, seems to be raining today. No, no, they're, they're, they're pissing on you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chonky ran. Anyway, yes, we should uh, let's get back to the evil within. But thank you for listening to me, guys. Uh, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't do this without you, or it wouldn't be as meaningful. Imagine if, it, imagine if we were on like episode 330 of this new show, uh, and I was doing this rant, and I just, I, I never met any of you guys. It was, I was like, just, I got no viewers. Uh, that would be. That'd be unfortunate, but uh, <laughs> this is what it is. Let's go. Let's play more evil in. My God, it's so warm in here since I've got my uh, sound dampening. Especially drinking coffee doesn't help. Let's go. But I, as always, folks, uh, I'm I am here for you. You let me know what's going on. I can I'll help with anything. Yeah. So I <laughs> I stupidly said yesterday. I was like, oh, man, we can complete this today. We're not going to complete this today. We've done a little. We've got a little way into it. Um. Uh, I mean, Erica. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's the OnlyFans. Uh, we have to re reach a certain threshold on the Patreon before the OnlyFans comes along. You don't. You don't have to joke. I mean. <laughs> hey, look. I mean. Some streamers, they literally do that. You know, they do the hot tub thing. You got, uh, you know, you got girls in bikinis, and like, and, and their content is nothing. They're just like, I'm a girl in a hot tub in a bikini. Hey, you twenty thousand lads, look, look at my almost naked body, and also give, give you some money while you're at it. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm, I'm not hating. I'm not hating on it at all. I respect it. If I could do that. It's quite possible I would do that. Um, but I can't do that. So, you know. <laughs> so I'm not doing it. <laughs> Yet. There's no demand for me. You guys like me. But, you know. No, <laughs> and I'm very grateful for that. <gasps> oh, oh, jeez. Almost walked for that. Uh, okay, so you can disarm just wires like that. Alright, let's burn those lads. They look rather sus. Alright, so there's a ladder back there. Which oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god. That's uh not how to do that, is it? There we go. These are awful enemies enemies. Uh um uh, get a paddling pool. Yes! I c yeah, technically you can set a paddling pool up inside, can't you? This is true. But, um, I mean, you know what I'm saying, don't you, about this? <laughs> Not really too much demand, I'm feeling. There we go, let's pop one of these. Let's pop two of these. There we go. Okay, um, 
Let's head down here first then. I felt this was maybe the way to go, but maybe it's uh Oh Bissell. Quick go, go, go. Well, okay, that's uh, <laughs> straight from the community pool. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I might not, why not? Um, oh, Lud Ludwig, yeah, yeah, but I, I saw things that he, I don't know why he, no offense to the lad, he seems like a nice guy. I don't know why he's so popular. <laughs> but then again, I could argue that I don't know why you guys like me, so I mean, you know, um. But uh, yeah, I heard him say something about, oh, yeah, oh, he's like uh, planning to uh, not, you know, he only wants to stream. He, he's, he's fairly honest about you know, the fact that he only streams to make money and that once he's got a certain amount of money, he's not going to stream anymore. He's like, eh. I, w I literally want to be 90 years old still doing this, guys. You know, even if I uh, become like super minted, I still want to do it. I don't, I don't care. This is, this is fun to me. Does that make me weird? I don't know. No, no, you tell me. There we go, got it. Oh, freeze bolt. A warhead for the agony crossbow, which will temporarily freeze struck opponents. Except for certain enemies, the target will break apart after freezing. Ah. Nice. Cool. All right, that was well, uh, well worth coming down this way. Mint Magnums, yeah. Yeah, just, just getting a... There you go, the hot tub will just be full of, uh, you know, uh, mint ice cream. It won't be hot, obviously. It'll just be very cold until it melts a little bit. Then it'll just be, it'll be very sticky. Right, pressing onwards. All right, a couple of matches. Oh, I thought that mannequin there was. Wow. <laughs> I um, I I asked myself the same question, Balthier. All right, cool. Some more parts. Oh, I thought I saw a wire then. It's just the uh, these retro graphics. Uh, I've got a bad vibe about this. Oh god. Gotta go gotta go quick. Gotta go quick. Damn, where was that little statue go? I might need to, uh, kind of need that, but I kind of can't hang around this bloody thing, can I? Oh. Oh, we dead it anyway. Right, uh, 16. Oh. I'm inclined to agree with that, Balthier. I don't, I don't, I don't, or say mint, mag, mint, uh, mint ice cream in general is top tier to me, but, um, of, they were back here, that's fine, of top tier potential, um, but, uh, 
Oh yes, yeah, sorry. I need to get my bullets on. Get them, them get them their bullets. Um but yes, the the raspberry ones, my god. My gold. Yeah, let's take all those bullets. Okay, so I think I that'll give me opportunity there. I need to um I guess I ran the wrong way. We need to maybe run back the way we came, but give me an opportunity to get that little statue that was in that locker. Which should have a key for the the lockers there. Which is definitely what we want. Ryan! Reminds you of your mum. Oh my god. I mean, some mums be like that. Thankfully, my mum's not. But yeah, some mums are. How you doing, Ryan? You're right there, bro. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, you got the turtles, did you? Oh my god, have you got anyone to play with, Red Mage? I don't think I can uh, justify getting it at the minute. It's still gonna be fun, even if you were to play on your own. I'm sure. Now, we're going to do uh, things a little bit differently this time. I'll take one of these bottles. Oh, wait. We've got a lick in here for us. Get them, them dead bullets. You're doing well, are you, Ryan? I'm pleased to hear that, buddy. Very pleased to hear that. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really... Uh, I'm really rather good, personally. Um... But yeah, I hope you're well too. Making some clips, eh, Erica? Get on that, my dear. That's, um... To me, that's like... A, a thing that is not... Not a fun thing. So what I'm saying is I respect it. You wanna come over this way, buddy? Oh. Climbing up there. Oh, he's come back down. <laughs> he's cut. What are you doing, mate? Oof. There we go. Get out of here, bro. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm, I've got, the only clips I've got, Erica, are the ones that, like, basically other people make. And then I might upload them and stuff. I just, I just, I don't know, I feel like, so, you know, so you've got, it's, it's difficult to judge what is the best use of your time. And everyone's different. There's no right or wrong with that. And I just feel that that's not the best use of your time. My time, at least. There we go. Right, uh, on this next section, I'm going to duck under that wire, and they pop around the corner, don't they? And uh, then I'll uh, just let them walk into it, starters, and I'm trying to make, you know, just have a little bit more finesse. Oh! Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, Erica. Is that a specific thing? Did something go down? We got a bit of time on, on it. I hope, uh, I hope everything was alright and it wasn't like a some weird thing went down. Okay, and I can also use these bodies, can't I? Yeah, come on then. You coming? Got a match for you, eh? You coming, love? Oh, can I get under this in time? That's the question. Yeah. There we go. 
Oh, okay. Didn't uh really matter. There we go. I hate missing headshots. I feel like a massive noob, but you, you, you know, it happens sometimes. Right, so I guess I just have to run back this way when that uh, awful creature spawns. I definitely need to uh, get the... Uh yeah, cause you, uh, you could, that's um, well that way. Yeah, we have to come back the way we came, definitely. Oh, okay, we've got a bit of fire there to uh, damage it. Oil, we can light with a match. You can't, definitely can't go that way, as far as I can tell. Um... Okay, something wasn't working out. Okay. So, I'm, uh, Erica, I can give you my uh, thoughts on uh, moderators recently. So, uh, cause I've, since I've come back, I've changed things up slightly. Um, I've, some people have taken taken away their moderator status, and uh, I think we've like, added one extra person. Um, so, my thoughts on it were this. When I first started, I was just, like, kind of randomly gave it to people. Uh that I trusted, and then someone said to me, oh, you should just, anybody who you know and like and trust, you should have as a moderator. So I had like about 30, 40 moderators, and I decided to cut down on that for a couple of reasons. I, I kind of wanted more of a criteria of what a moderator was. Um, Someone who, they don't have to be there, but someone who's there somewhat, it's a balance between how frequently somebody's there and how much they kind of uh, embody that moderator kind of role. So, for example, there's like somebody who I kept who's not here that often, but they are, when they are here, they do a fantastic moderating job. And then there's like other people who are the opposite, like they're kind of here quite frequently, but not really embracing that moderator role um, that I felt. The other thing is, like, if any new viewers come in, it's important that they see who the moderators are. So if they come in and they see, like, 20,000 people in chat and all of them are moderators, they're going to think that's going to seem maybe a bit alienating or a bit weird. I can remember back when we were playing um, with Final Fantasy IX. We uh, picked up a random guy who was, like, kind of very into Final Fantasy IX. He's a little bit strange, but, you know, he seemed okay. And then after, like, two streams of him hanging out, he was, like, he just came out with... So when are you going to make me a moderator? I was like, what? I was like, what the, f what the fuck? Bro, I don't even know you. Who are, you've been here like twice. I've known you less than a week. And you're asking to me f to make you a moderator on my channel. No. Seven. How you doing? Um. <laughs> Balthier. Prime Minister or even World President. Well, I think you're getting a bit ahead of yourself. Um, yeah, speaking of mods, they're swing. Uh, so I, I kind of balanced it out. So that's what that was my thought. If you want to talk on this anymore, Erica, uh, let me know, my dear. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and swing does a fantastic, uh, is a, is a fantastic mod. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> <Ass. laughs> I mean, it's not off of the cards, my dear. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, I feel it's. I think I feel, well, who who we've got as moderators now is perfect for what it is. We don't we don't need anyone up any uh, anyone else at the time being. Uh, uh, you agree, the seven off putting and alienating. Yeah, and it makes people think weird things, and it feels like you're being watched almost. If I go into uh, someone's stream that I don't really know, and there's say six people in there, this you know say there's myself, two other randos, and then four moderators. It's like you got you want to get that a decent ratio. Does that make sense? I maybe at the minute because I see like green swords all over the place at the minute. <laughs> maybe when I'm not quite at that ratio. Um, but I fit. You know, I feel everyone who's currently a moderator fits the bill perfectly for what I consider. You know, there may be other people 
who I moved who were like, you know, five out of six uh, criteria they perfected, but there's one criteria that I felt was just not quite there. You know, there's no nothing about, you know. Um... Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Indeed. But yes, anyway. Let's try and deal with this monstrosity. How are you doing, Seven? You right, my dear? How's your day going? What have you been up to? Uh, bringing the world to rights? Uh, fixing your house? Doing, doing all the DIY. Put me to shame. Not that, you know, we don't live in the age, you know, where there's gender roles for certain uh, tasks and, you know, things. But Seven would definitely put me to shame. She's like, climbing up in crawl spaces, fixing ventilation systems... Uh, a full-blown mechanic and like I can what, what can you do is I am very good at tying my shoelaces I'm, pr I'm pretty damn good at that I will say that right okay so we're gonna grab that open up that where's it going okay it's kind of just yeah I can't did you see that that little statue it kind of just glitched out of existence it kind of came flying out okay we have to forget that one we're forgetting that one that's what we're doing right it's gonna wait wait here for a second for her and then we're gonna match her there we go she didn't like that oh Did that get rid of her Fire seems to work. yeah okay that's what we needed to do you did not like that. Okay, so we... Oh. Got a bit of a gl glitch going on here. Got a bit of a glitch going on here. Um, you okay so far, I7? <clears throat> no, of course, Eric. Yeah, you, there might be things that you don't want to say... Uh, about specific people in chat yeah i'll i'll um i'll mess it i'll i'll read that properly later erica and we'll get into it if you want um two sides to the <laughs> so your dad was like yo seven come here and you're like what what's going on we're fixing this car and you're like i don't i don't really care about that dad i don't care what you want son i mean daughter <laughs> um Oh no! What kind of what kind of stream am I, Balthier? That I'm not making, uh, subjecting you guys to ads. God, I must be some kind of scumbag. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Scotty, you absolute bloody little ledge. I hope work isn't too rough for you, bud. Uh, and I will speak to you tomorrow night, uh, if not before, um, sir. So you have a good one. Um. Yeah, Sween's like, I want some ads, damn it. No, you don't. So, I don't think this is supposed... Is it? Is it a little bat carrying it? It's not... What the f... I d I'm confused about this. We're going to try and... Uh, try and shoot it, I guess. Okay, a little bit more skill than that. Oh, can we... I don't think this is supposed to... This must be a thing, because there's a bat there. Okay, this is... Uh, a whole thing, isn't it? Maybe if I can, maybe if I just use a. Gr I've got any grenades. I have an explosive bolt. Maybe it can. Maybe that will work. Oh, we don't have any explosive bolts at the minute. Okay, that was. Uh, I guess we go shotgun. There we go. Probably going to be worth it. I don't remember that doing that. I thought... And that was weird because it's like a little bat was flying around with it. I don't... I don't even know. Nobody knows. Doesn't make sense. Um, well, it's clearly not the last we've seen of that creature. In fact, it might... It's still around, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's supposed to make no sense. This is true, Seven. This is true. That's just that. 
That seems like the most random thing ever. Unless the, the little statue was attached to the bat, and that's it, okay, as soon as you open that door, it comes flying out, because obviously that freaky uh, creature was uh, after us. I didn't really see exactly what was going on. Okay, well, now we've lost our exit. Right, we've got explosive barrel. We've got corpse to burn. What else have we got? Ooh, we got a torch. Right, okay, I think I see what's going on now. Let's see i think basically that's uh incinerator there i think if you um if you pull that lever that uh locks that door there and uh turns the incinerator on <coughs> for a moment and should be the ladder for it up there so if we were leading that creature now we want to have it chase us from this direction I think the timing is a little bit awkward. You don't want to do it too soon. But you don't want to do it uh, too late either. Oh god, there she is. So, uh, let's try and uh, bait her this way. Oh, there she is right there. Get the lever. Get the lever. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Never mind. I'm trying to come and go around. Oh my god, he's right there. I'm just going to go for it. I hope she's in there. Oh yeah, she is. Yeah, we dropped her in it. Nice. Stay there. Oh well, she's uh, trying to get through that. No, a fire for you. Oh, it didn't work. That's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, okay, got. Uh, okay, I'll see. Get through here. Guess the switch must be up here. Hopefully we've made it in time. No. Okay. okay I think I... Uh I think I dropped my little torch back there, didn't I? That's not a thing we want to do. One thing I can do, though, is uh, shoot this. Just gets a little closer. Alright, hopefully we get the timing on this one now. Hmm. I have to do that quickly. I got my torch back. And there's another one there. Excellent. Okay. And we've got another explosive barrel. That's cool. So I think that's all the environmental fire we've got now. Um, I'm trying to get up there a lot. I need to get up there a lot quicker than that, don't I? Yeah, she's already up here by the time we... 
Oh my god. Um, I think I might just have to start shooting her now. Oh no, Sebastian. Don't be tired, mate. Unless we can uh, do another round of this one. Oh no, okay. You can keep trying on them until you get it. So I think we might have to definitely use this one now. Hopefully she's just behind us. See now, that seems like it's going to be too soon. Where is she? I'm just going to go for it. Sounds like she's close. Yes, there we go. There we go. She's gone for now. Oh. 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 Yeah, imagine that, Balthier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 55 minutes of ads, 5 minutes of gaming. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's not... <laughs> I, 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 I'd have to uh, say no to that. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, so you got super hardcore ad blockers. 7. So I have an ad block on... Uh, browser i never see an ad on youtube but this oh unless uh or is that or can you if you get is it with prime you don't get to a chance or is it uh twitch turbo is that a thing i can't remember balthea you said you were not going to tell anybody that Ah, I mean, Balthier. Ah, ah, funny joke, funny joke, sir. Ah, he's such a comedian, is Balthier. Oi. Careful. Ah, <laughs> um, uh, oh, you have, you have software on the router. Damn, Seven, you're so smart. I wish I was smart like you. I barely know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just making up as I go along. Uh, that's so clever. Yeah, the only ad, ad block I know is just if you uh, found ad, ad block plus uh, for your, your browser. And that st stops. It doesn't stop ads in, on websites. But it does stop pop-up ads. And it does stop ads on YouTube. But I guess it's not really um, interfering with my life. But that's interesting. So you don't get any ads on uh, on Twitch at all. That's pretty cool. Or too smart to know when to give up. That's that's open to interpretation, isn't it? Oh. Go home. Okay, there's Leslie and Ruvik as subjects case history past developmental delays. Memory. Indicates issues with communication, social cognition, repetitive behaviors, signs of synesthesia reported. Genealogy suggests increased susceptibility to external stimuli. Compatible with what? I don't think uh, I don't think Leslie's enjoying the compatibility, bro. Oh. Now where are we? Okay. A gigantic brain wrapped in barbed wire with stuff stuck in it. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you indeed. Sween! Not resub. Nine months. Bless you, Sween. I appreciate that. Um, I don't know, Sween. What do you, you... Well, here's the thing, Sween. You're going to have to look after it. So I feel that if if you've got to look after the baby, then you should probably at least... You should, you should you know, you should be able to name it. So, um, I don't know. I don't know, Seven. Oof. What the... On now. Uh, 
Oh. I uh, mean, hella clumsy, I think, now. Okay. Gotta pull those, uh, bajigas out of them. They're presumably from their brain stems. Um. Oh, now we've just got one. There we go. That, that fixed the problem. What is going on? Iswood Jr. Okay. <laughs> well, I know that Iswood Jr. will be um, in in very good hands uh, with uh, with you, Swing. But look at her there. It's um with the like long dark hair. It's very like ringish, isn't it? That kind of freakish. Uh, you know, uh, Japanese mythology has that obsession with um you know female ghostly monsters with the you know long dark hair hiding their faces but this is the uh, next level those those limbs and claws all right, i guess we're saving the game St uh, steph approves <laughs> um Go, next chapter yeah i don't you ladies with your long hair i don't know how you do it right here you go chapter six losing grip on ourselves i don't know how i feel about this mannequins are freaky aren't they it's um what's it i don't know i've always found them freaky in the uh, clothes stores as a kid Okay, we're back to this weird doctor and nurse. On our little uh, mushroom trip. Something startled you. Did they do something to my head? You don't look well. You should take better care of yourself. Hmm. We'll do what we can. <laughs> Which uh, probably is not uh, not much of anything, really. Right, we've got an, an, a new key. Uh, so let's uh, open up another locker, I guess. Oh, some uh, gel. 5,000. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's, uh, let's go spend that then, I guess. This violently kicks the door in. Right, no new newspaper. Or uh, nothing on the notice board. <coughs> You're scared of music boxes, Seven. I, I guess they're kind of a bit weird. Like, who who thought about a music box and like how did it come to pass? I guess I'll see where you're coming from. Right, what we got? What should we go for? Extra heal probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. Let's, uh, got a decent supplier. Uh, let's uh, yeah, let's uh, increase our uh, shotgun ammo capacity. And so let's go for more matches as well. We 
actually just saved it, didn't we? So let's let's run. Oh, you can only run for two feet. Oh, sorry, sorry, Sebastian. Oh, okay, not that mirror. Different mirror. This with uh, this mirror. No, let's speak to the nurse. Maybe we've got to save the game. That'd be weird. Um. No worries, you get you get in there in that gym, Swing. Smash it up. Yeah, we could watch uh, Iswood Junior for a little bit. No worries. He's yeah, he's. I'm, I feel like he's well behaved, so it's fine. Um. Oh, okay. I see seven. That makes sense. <laughs> there you go. There we go. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah, we want to uh, overwrite that. Uh, so let's do something back here that's new that we've not looked at. Ooh. Church floor collapses. Uh, no injuries, witness says. Miracle. Biggest church scandal to date. Does church often have scandals? Uh, floor of Cedar Hill Church collapses during renovations. Parishioner says it was a miracle. No one was injured. Okay. What else we got? Photographs? Curious. What fresh hell? Oh. What was that sound? That was glass chattering. Glass. He needs to get his ears checked, doesn't he? I've got the cockroaches again. Who is she? How does she fit into all this? She's not the enemy, but... I don't know how much of a friend she is either. Just her own thing. Oh dear. Oh, okay. Nice chunky looking bro there. Now, where are we? They're really in the same place, but not quite. Like Leslie, how you doing, buddy? Not doing well, is he? Bless his little heart. Sebastian. 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 I oh, shall. Uh... Uh oh. How curious! Leslie's face was a mirror. And then we got sent through that 
where are we now? New place. Um, yeah, I, I, I've not really had the occasion to have to look after anyone's kids. And I'm not sure if I'd want to, but uh, I should de I should definitely take that advice. Uh, that sounds that sounds uh, legit to me, Seven. All right, okay, now the harpoon bolt. Let's see what we can do with this. Light of day, of all things. Got it. You said the Dark Souls. That drain Glake over there. <laughs> Sorry, silly joke. Praise the sun. Places, the photographs. <clears throat> Ever onward. That's all you can do in this game. Let's have a gander. Double bullets. Oh. Hmm. All looks very sus. Very quiet at the moment. How that, how long that's gonna last? That's definitely a thing, isn't it? Nice. But you're definitely getting burnt. Oh yeah, look at that! A little statue behind. Perfect. Right. There's another key. Wonderful. We're definitely way off track. I think if you're like trying to get all the keys, you've probably got about ten or so by this point. That's our fourth one. So I mean, we're in 100% of the keys. Let's put it that way. Oh, gunshots. Ah, does it, Red Mage? Are you all right? Agreed. All right, Joseph. My head wouldn't stop buzzing. It felt like it was about to crack open. But now it's like I'm starting to get used to it. Doesn't sound good. You seen Kidman? No. Next thing I knew, I was here. I must have blacked out. Maybe I turned again. Oh no. Inside. Let's go. Okay. Let me tell you this. This this section on Akumu is ridiculous. Do your thing, young Joseph. Get that thing open. I'm working on it. Just give me a little time. Shit. Uh. 
Really? This lasts ages. <laughs> right, it's a little bit closer. There we go. Nice. Alright, got a hatchet. Nice. Right, make sure to get a goo. Oh! She just picks up and throws us on the floor. Let's, uh, let's. Where's my. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There you go. Got some bullets as well. Oh, God. Yeah, we got, we got shanked, folks. It's, uh. God. Kitchen knife to the, uh. Butcher's knife to the throat. Oh, my God. Um. Oh, I'll do that a little bit better this time. Now I know what's going on in the room. But yeah, doing that, this like you sure the amount of time it took Joseph to open up that door. On a Kumu, it takes about five, six times longer. Okay, that was a waste. There we go. Just don't uh, want to leave any of these supplies behind. Can't hold them off much longer. Another moment. Just keep me covered. No. Ugh. Ugh. Got it. Let's go. Oh, seriously? I don't think there's infinite of them. Oh, I think we should probably go. <laughs> All things considered. Miss some goo. Unfortunate. Oof. Right, let's uh get some heals, I guess. I think that's just the first section there, honestly. <laughs> oh, another room like that coming up. Okay, more cool stuff though we need. Oh. Working on it. You've got time to complain. Well, that was uh, tragic. Should we get a little bit of spice? Can we? Uh, can we do that? Tagged with my own bolt there. That's uh, unfortunate. Might be uh, going for the count here. Ha <laughs> ha 
I was spamming that match there. I was like, oh, is uh, this going to work? I have no idea. Oh my god. Ugh. Sebastian, let's go. Nah, I'm gonna die instead, mate. God, oh, there we go. I think that's about 18 now. It's rough. Slight of game. How's it going, bro? Are you alright? Yeah, did you get this far? Did you, co did you actually complete it then? I thought you gave up on it, uh, Slight. I mean, everyone likes it long and hard, right? Oh, they're back here. Okay, I'll see. Okay, we got this now. I'm going to stop messing around, whatever that means. Did that not count? That was cheap. The axe is supposed to be one hit kill. Really? There we go. No spell. Um, you. Oh, did ya? Okay, I didn't realise that. Slight. I thought you were like, I hate this. So you, you just like, screw this. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's tricky. Tricky. I've died like about twenty times. I think that's like death eighteen there actually. Um, yeah, it's it's a fun game. But it's uh, it's not always like fair. It feels like seven, so it's it's what it is. Here we go. It's knowing to uh, use the right weapon at the right time. I feel okay. So we want to get those back there. Pop one of those right now. In fact, screw it. Let's pop a second one. There we go. Okay, I'll, that's why I restarted because I missed that. Yeah, that's, let's pretend that was the case. <laughs> okay, I kind of wasted both those barrels there. It's fine. God. Give me a little minute. Give me a give me a minute, folks. There we go. Ah, oh. change your weapons. I probably shouldn't have been. Oh no, let's uh, no, do it now. 
There we go. Give him some match. Give some for you. No, not for that guy. Never mind. Yes, good time in there, Joseph. Let's fucking go, mate. That is so check one is so difficult on Akumi. There's like about half a dozen that were like brutal throughout the playthrough, and that is one of them right there. Um, it's a it's a midnight. It's a red race. It's rough, isn't it? It's rough there to do that. For a minute. We can't keep going at this pace. I I think we've got to get out of this place as fast as we can. What about the tower there? We might be able to get a lay of the land. Anything's gotta be better than staying here. Great. Oh, check that. Sniper rifle. Uh this unusual looking rifle is bolt action and has a scope. It looks old, but appears to be well care well cared for well cared for. Also got a, a safe point there. I think we need to uh, uh, take uh, opportunity uh, take advantage of this opportunity right here. How much longer am I needed here? How are you doing anyway, Slight? You're right, buddy. say how much longer she needed here as long as you're needed hold on i'm gonna sneeze one second oh doubled up um <laughs> right okay don't need these heels those two are done let's open this one Ooh, some harpoon bolts nice Yeah, might as well take them. All right, let's. Uh, can we open this door now? As we are. Yeah, we can. Excellent. How much gel? Uh, Three thousand six hundred. Not much, but we might as well get one upgrade. And now, of course, we've got a sniper rifle. That needs to be taken into account. So I guess we'll do that right off the bat. Nothing new there. Or there. Uh, thank you, Red Mage. I appreciate that. Um, uh, I don't know, Seven. You tell me. It seems to be a... Uh, it seems to be running theme with, uh, you know, kind of... Uh, cool old music. Try and sneak through this area as much as we can. Oh, what I want to do actually is um, not forget about the sniper rifle, but let's reload that. So I, I don't think the enemies actually break through that door, which is uh, something of a relief. Let's be careful. It could be full of them. It is most assuredly full of them. Hence why we don't sneaky sneak. Oh, 
Oh, wow. This bro. <laughs> Oh my god. I guess my uh, <laughs> bolts aren't really that powerful at the minute. <coughs> yeah? Who's that? Who's throwing shit at us? Bruh. Someone up here. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, come on. That's unfortunate. So you probably noticed the uh, porcelain like masks they have on. Even though uh, that is the case, it is actually to your benefit to try and, and uh, try and hit, hit them in the head anyway, because it's still gonna still more likely to do more damage. Right, okay, I've got another little hatchet there. That's good. So we'll, uh, we'll we'll come back up, up here for that if we if we uh, get the opportunity. Yeah, no, bro, that looks dangerous. We have to do something about that. That's how it's going to be. And so be it. Can I get around this lad? I did get the prompt for a split second, but I wasn't quick enough. Unfortunate. Oh, we've got a bomb. Oh, always so nervous with those. <laughs> Oh, sorry, let me catch up here. Uh, you blaming Steph for what, Cage? The fact that you're at work? That's understandable. Um, uh, Tails Plague. Who? What's that? Will they put it back? Oh. Uh. Plague Tale. That sounds. That sounds familiar, Erica. I don't know that I've. Uh, I know it though, honestly. It does sound familiar. Oh, is that extra hatchet? There it is. Right, I'm gonna uh, check down here. Not down there. Just down here. Get that brain juice. Can't remember which one of these we want to hit. One gets us stuff, and the other gets us enemies to fight, I think. Let's risk it. Oh, it's not even uh, act. Okay, I can't activate them yet. Okay. Right, we've got a little bomb here. Oh, just. Ah. Exactly where I'm going. Okay, that's brought us back to this beginning section. Okay, let's uh, head over on the other side. Oh. 
That's your opportunity gone. Could be, full of them. could be full of them. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. That was so clumsy. And now we've blended pieces. Let's try that again. Yeah, Modern Warfare 2. I think that came out a few years ago. Erica. <laughs> I think that's 19 now. Um Yeah, I enjoyed Modern Warfare 2. So I guess it's getting the same treatment that the, the first one got. Okay, let's uh, get back to it. <coughs> Do it all again. No big deal. Wasn't that much of a... It's all good. It's all good. Let's try and get on these lads a bit quicker. Like, there you go, have a match. Oh, do, oh, do I not have any matches at the minute? Run out, lads. Oh dear. <clears throat> I've, you know, I've played Call of Duty games. I just never, like, really got into the multiplayer. Oh. I mean, I don't know if that uh, seems weird, but... Try out this sniper rifle, maybe. Get those guys above us. We get the guy with the bloody bow gun, don't we? This guy. Yeah, this sniper rifle's not is uh, pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Joseph. He's wrecking them. I'm gonna stomp on your bra. Yeah. Right. Where were we? At least we're not gonna. Oh, that's another hatchet for us. At least we're not gonna um get blown up by that uh <laughs> that crossbow dude over there. Um. <clears throat> Did you cage? Interesting. So 
that love-hate relationship, Erica. That's fine, yeah. <sighs> Some games can be like that, can't they? When you love it, but then you feel like it's maybe taking too much from you. Oh, oh yeah, indeed they are. Right, that's what those uh, areas are. I see. That's all right. We can get those. Uh, they can't hit us down here. I'm not sure what that does. Turn on the switches on the other side, maybe? Yeah, I don't remember which one of those, left or right. One is good, one is not good. I'm leaning towards... Uh, I should go for the left one. Oh, where's my... Oh, where's my, where's my little hatchet gun? Oh, we've got a bomb. Yeah, it's uh, it's worse addictions to have, Erica. A fork knife. <laughs> but why? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not into fork knife. But spoon. I'm down for the spoon. Um. This is a little bit tricky, so um, those little uh, hanging baskets, they're armoured, you need to kill the guys, but um, they only uh, pop out when you get in range, so it's a little bit tricky, you have to kind of like bait them out a little bit. Okay, and that brings us back there. bit of an issue. Right, let's see if I can uh, get a different approach on them. Let's uh, see if we can do these. Uh, oh. oh yeah, using the play point. Okay, uh, let's see if we can uh, do these, this door here. I think it's left. I'm going to regret this though. Guess correctly. Nice. Awesome. So, if anyone ever plays this, remember this section. You want to go that left level there. Ooh. There's four of them. I see. There we go. Now we can get through without getting skewered. We won't stand a chance if we don't take out those other guns. Yeah, indeed. Obviously. 
obviously. What's going on here? Oh, okay, releasing the horde. Okay. That's fine. We'll take you on. As long as we hang hang back a little bit, let them come to us. Hey, you wanna come straight down here, folks? I definitely saw one run in the other direction, but maybe uh, he looped back round. Ooh. So what's the building? The building on uh, which game? Overwatch. I wish I knew about stuff like that. But I don't. <laughs> I, th I think there's a limit to these guys. I don't think they just keep going forever. That's for you. Take his brain juice. Not much of it, but that's fine. Give him. Oh. Hello. Oh, no, no, Sebastian, no. Yeah, you can drop down there, buddy. And you don't want to fall off there. There we go. Got there in the end. Bless his little heart. Yeah, I don't know if these other lads are heading over this way. If not, I feel I should uh, try and nip one of these. That's that one there, isn't it? Okay. Got your more science, buddy. There you go. Why it falls, I don't that doesn't make sense, but <laughs> Right, so we've got two more. Got it down there for that one. And over there for that one. Okay, they're below us here, obviously. Ooh. You right there, Joseph? I think he's alright. I don't know if he's alright. I was because they're like, kind of trying to attack him. Ah! <laughs> janky game. <laughs> it's a little bit janky at this game. Have one of those. I think he's alright. <laughs> Lol. Right, okay. We're slowly making progress. 
Uh, let me quickly pop one of those. I'll see someone running around over there. You running over here? Hi there, fellas. That's fine. You can do this if you want. Alright, the chunky boys. Uh, oh my god. Damn. Joe. You're a bad man. It's pretty uh it's pretty handy with the axe. Ain't you buddy? Oh, they just keep coming, do they? Surely not. Oh my god. Trying to grab that. Maybe they do. Maybe they really are just need to get down there and progress what we're supposed to be doing. Not, not doing that. Joe, where were you, buddy? Just trying to give Joseph a little heal. Oh my god, seriously. down there that works don't really need the lantern on at the minute okay that's uh it's got this final one here my god there we go that's right, taken care of that for now We've got more fun and games to come though. Chainsaw boy. Oh my god. Well, I've just been shanked again. Don't tell me. Please tell me I got a checkpoint. Just like that. I think that's death 21. Not 20. Something like that. I, I lost track. Yeah, we did. Thank God for that. I was trying to keep that explosive barrel at him. I don't think that's too much to ask, is it? Ah, what a waste. Now, uh, I'm not even sure if I've really got anything to uh, fight him. Oh, you're going to get deaded there, Sebastian. Yeah. And now is this the same is this the same guy that I can only assume this is a guy that looks identical and rocks the same weapon. Oh, yeah, that's twenty one. Oh Eric, that's rough. You don't want to get into gaming because you went on a phone call and the phone call's bloody late. Of course it is. Of course it is. People people will be like that. Let's have a look at my supplies, what I've actually got to fight this guy. Well let's use that for a start. Not that it's going to matter if we get instant killed. Right, we've got a couple of grenades. But we have no uh, crossbow bolts. That's fine. This might, this might be alright. Okay, looks like we've got... Um... No, we can't go that way. Okay, that's fine. Sebastian! Seriously, bro. There we go. There we go. All right, turn that off. Let's uh, let's get our nades out. Uh, 
There we go. Okay, that's um, that's something. It's not much of anything, but. And again, oh my god! Wow! Yeah, wow! This is a, a thing. This is a thing. I'll get it done, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, doctor appointments. No, that's the thing. Doctors, they, if you're one minute late, they won't see you. But when you're on time, they will keep you waiting like an hour. In my experience. I'd, I'd just stay away from them. Because they, they're useless, basically. Right, let's reload that for a start. Um, that doesn't actually matter because we're getting one shot anyway. Wasted. Oh, time doesn't actually stop there. I thought uh, that did, but... God. Oh, there we go. Can we uh kick him a little kick for what it's worth? It's not worth anything. <laughs> oh, here we go. Give us a sec. Give me a sec, bro. Give me a sec. <laughs> I thought there was uh, more than one, but I guess not. Oh no, oh no. Oh. Fine out loud. Oh, that's 21 or 22. Okay, at least I know there's a couple of supplies and things in that direction. I might just need to, um. I might just need to make some bolts. I just gotta keep going. And some some small amount of luck involved in this, obviously. Now, is that gonna hurt me? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to check. I've not been hurt by one of those yet, so I just really wasn't uh, sure. Wasted. Uh, kind of not great. We almost, almost got him. Oh my god, finally. Jeez Louise. And then there's the weird... Uh, where were you, Joseph? I guess he's trapped on the other side of the door. I'll let him off. Aye, aye, aye. I'm moving on. It's fine. All good, we survived. 
made it. The elevator is stopped at the top. Let's look for another way up. Ooh. Okay, I think we get a little reprieve here before we uh this is what the hold up was. Before we deal with that. Right, here we go. The Sebastian's Journal again. May 17th, 2006. This is like... There you go, what it tells us, isn't it? Eight months since Mira and I were married, and you, little Lily, are the result of our love. I was having a little, ki had a little kid already. I can't wait for two months to pass so I can finally meet you. Okay. I've not been born yet. But I must admit that I am scared. I've faced countless dangers in my job, but knowing that I'm going to be a dad is the scariest thing of all. I promise to love you and to protect you with every fibre of my being as long as I am in this world. I'll enter this stage of my life the same way I do every important task, with a full heart and the desire to do the best that I can. Just know that your mother and I love you already and cannot wait to welcome you into this sometimes harsh world. Hmm. Better save after that craziness. I don't think we've got another key, did we? I could probably use those heels now because I think we're out. Yeah. Alright, it's all our uh, the stash of supplies used up here. God, today's stream has flown by, folks. Absolutely flown by. Let's go more uh, shotgun shells. And more sniper rifle ammo. There we go. And I guess we better do a little save. A new newspaper? There is. KCPD officer missing. A search underway for missing detective. Crimson City Police Detective Miro Castellanos, 36, has been reported missing. Oh dear. Though she was on duty at the time, a police spokesperson denies connection to any investigation she was involved in. Her husband and superior officer, Sergeant Sebastian uh, Castellanos, has had no comment. Run. Sound good, does it? Yeah, cage indeed. <laughs> All right. I don't like the, the vibe of this elevator. Now, what fresh hell? Now, where are we? Nobody knows. Okay, we've got a decent amount of heels at least. Um, I 
guess we don't have any bolts to spin it. You think Kidman is okay? I don't like that they used her as bait. Almost like someone's toying with us. Indeed. You alright, buddy? Hang in there. Just a little further. What is he talking about? Just a little further to what? We're literally trapped in some alternate pocket dimension of some psychopath's nightmarish creation. And he's like, yeah, d hang on, just a little further. To where? What are you talking about, Sebastian? He doesn't... He's talking nonsense. Literally talking nonsense. Oh. Okay. There are only two. We can take... No, that's not... Idiot. Oh, Joseph, you bloody idiot. Uh, it's your turn next, buddy. There are four. Oh, th thanks for blowing out the bridge. Seems uh, fairly obvious. Head down the end here. But yeah. Probably want to uh, not miss, though. Oh, was that not enough time? I'm out loud. There's not enough time, apparently. Sebastian just watched that happen, apparently. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know what that counts as. Here we go. God. At this point, you just can't really uh, see through that. Oh, my God. Get around there, Sebastian. Okay, I'm just going to not miss. I think that's the, the key to this. Tr do yourself a favour, Joseph. Help yourself, mate. You okay? You're not okay. I don't even care now. No need to worry. Yeah. I just saved your life, bro. Your stupidity. Stupid stupidity. Oh, well, I see. You should have just let them. Yep. Uh. Huh? What the hell? It's just a matter of time. It's better this way. What the fuck? Yep. Yeah, I mean, agree. Hard agree. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's uh, a lot of them. Cover me. Let's go. Probably would help if I didn't miss, but I make no promises. Oh my god. Oh, you're almost done there, buddy.
Looks like you're done, mate. Let's go. Come on. You're done, bro. We're ready to go. Hurry, this way. Where are you looking, mate? Oh, uh, how did I get over there, Sebastian? I guess we're in some weird dream world, aren't we? Sorry. <laughs> um. Joseph, are you all right? God, I, yeah, I'll, I'll need that, Eric. Oh my I... God, I'm not. Yeah. Definitely not a sniper. Let me just put it that way. Okay, moving onwards into this place, wherever and whatever this place is. What kind of running low on ammo now? So I might need to start making bolts with my trap parts, which is, um, you know, fine. That's what they're for. Yeah, we've got a reasonable amount. Because you can kind of uh, carry any number of those. It's, I feel it's kind of better to, uh, you know, put off doing that, honestly. Um, we're not completely out of ammo yet, though. Maybe some uh, supplies around here. Not like Resident Evil 4, is it? Try. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> can't, can't, can't murder the crows. This looks like some kind of a marketplace. It looks deserted, just like everywhere else. We ought to keep moving. Oh, did I? Oh, there we go. Got it. Ah, nice. <coughs> oh, I got a little over an hour. Should be like uh, another decent bit of progress before we're uh, done for today. This. Father was a stern man. Ruvik Proud. again, isn't it? And I thought intelligent, but he was also pious, a believer. Somehow he always supported the church, no matter what the newspaper said. He waved away the allegations as if they were infallible. The Ooh. wretched, the vermin, the stern, all were taken in by that church. They were promised salvation and eternal life. Sounds like a little bit of a cult. And they could promise that I couldn't take away. Curious. I don't think I've uh, missed anything there. However, be a little gap here. Hey, got a statue. New key, excellent. Uh, so the the lockers. I don't know if it's um predetermined what is in each locker, or whether regardless of which one you open, you get the same stuff in the same order if that makes sense 
or if uh, it's completely random every time. I've literally no idea, but um, either way, uh, well worth uh, getting them as needed. Containers to smash. I think his hand would hurt, but I mean, he's a bad man, apparently. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, sh I can only assume, hopefully, his uh, wife, Mira, was found and she's okay. And Lily is okay. And there's just, he's just not hap he's just having to not mention them at all. I've got a bad feeling that may not be the case. I think I've cleared out the area. Where do you suppose we are? More like when? Where? Sebastian, are you... He's worst detective ever. Architecture seems straight out of the Middle Ages. Yeah, but there's electricity. Elevators. This place can be real. Oh, really? Jumbled up memories. This place can be real. <coughs> it only just dawned on him. <coughs> Excuse me. You're a genius, mate. How did he become a detective? I don't know. I know it's all weird and crazy and, like, supernatural, but... Still. Sounds like me, Joseph. Shit. Let's hide out in here for a bit. Is this what it was like, Seb? After the accident? Well, I never put a gun to my head. No, of course not. Just quietly sank into a bottle. No. We the accident. So Mira's not all right. That you went missing, though. I'll be perfect. It never affected my work. But hey, you read the IA report. You know, I didn't report you because I was worried about your work, Sebastian. <laughs> what else is there? We don't have time for this. I need my partner. <clears throat> I'm counting on you. Right, okay. So a little look around. Matches. Nice. Something? Maybe. Uh, map fragment. It's all symbols. Some kind of cult. Could be useful. I think I'm okay. We should probably get going. How much, uh, how much brain juice do I have? Hmm. Not really, uh, not really enough to do anything with. So I guess I won't worry about it in a minute. We'll just, uh, we'll just, uh, press on for now. <coughs> guess we're heading through a graveyard. Oh. Hold on a minute. Let me climb up here and see if I can get a look ahead. You all right? Yeah. Hmm. 
Right, more gunshots. Kidman, maybe? We, hopefully. Yeah, Kidman and Leslie. Okay. Hey, that's Kidman. Looks like she's with. I found. Seems to be in working condition. Go on ahead, I'll cover you. Will you, Joseph, though? Oh. Oh. You wanna... Go cover ourselves up in here? Looks like it. God, oh, the sway on it. Good Joseph. I'll cover you. I'm just going to stare in this direction here and do nothing. Get your cut, get your covering on, Joe. I'm a bit rough. Uh... I suppose I can't use the matches when they're in the water there, but I have to get on land. You got matches. Probably better off just uh, doing that, aren't you? Shooting the leg. What? Especially as we haven't got the upgrades for the increased uh, crit rate yet. That seems to make more sense to do that. Okay, yeah, we've got five matches. Thank you, Red Mage. It was, I mean, I just waited for the moment. He was just stood there staring at us, so it's like, you know. Oh. Sebastian, that should lead you out here the path to the church. Keep going, I'll cover you. Yeah, you said that last time, bro. Oh, too many shotgun shells. Oh, big boy. Oh, jeez. Uh, we're just gonna get better at doing this. Let's hope so. With what? What am I supposed to be finish him off with? Chonky boy. Yeah, let's burn him just to be on the safe side. Oh, we got his friend. Who's uh, a little bit more spry. Um. Oh, maybe we can... Uh, That didn't. That was poorly timed, to say the least. 
Oh, what about this? No. No. For real? Oh. Oh, hang on a minute. I can't handle them on my own. You do what you told, Josie. Okay, let's uh Oh my god. Wasted. Oh my God, he's too spry. Wow. <laughs> he just ate that. He's like, huh? It's not going to really help, is it? There you go. Get out of here, bro. Oh, what a nightmare. Wow. Let's meet up by the horse statue there. Yo, Mike. How's it going, buddy? This way. You're right. That's what I keep you waiting there. And my and my hands full there for a second. Got some nice amount of goo from them though. What this? Graveyard note. Walt. I want to get Donna back. I saw how to get into the wolf's den, and I'm getting her back. I won't let her be a sacrifice. Don't follow. Just stay and watch the family. I'll bring her back, Daniel. All right, well. Well, 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 well. Uh, I feel like we could have got one of those lads to uh, smash that down. Unless we have explosives. I don't think we've got any more explosives, have we? I'll we'll use them all. Okay, no, that's just the other side of that, isn't it? Okay. We're not missing anything. Um, so, uh, is Joseph going to tell us what we need to do? Does he even know? Probably doesn't. Erica, thank you so much for hanging out, my dear. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, see you later. Uh, have a good one. Hope you, uh, enjoy your, uh, your stream. Let's see what he's got for us. Something about a horse in that house back there. Let me see what I wrote. I don't remember five minutes ago, but you're right. Oh, okay. I guess we go down. I guess we I guess do. So.
Okay, I'm suddenly back in a uh, sanctuary. got a key didn't we so let's uh use that bullets uh yeah we do need them a bit, bit low well not, not severely but now we do have a chunk of goo to spend Okay, let's get uh, max out matches. And let's max out syringes as well. There we go. Done and done. Alright, so need 3,000 for the, uh, more grenades. 6,000 for more sniper rounds. And 15,000 to max and double our shotgun uh, shell capacity. Which doesn't seem like that would be a terrible idea. No more news. I guess we'll just save. Let's, uh, let's be on our way. Wherever on our way is. Could be anywhere, couldn't it? You don't need to worry about me. Because I'm, I'm a bad man. You don't need to worry about me. What? It's just one disturbing thing after another, isn't it, around here? Oh. Um, we're going to try and let this person out of here. Oh, we just punched that person to death. Oh my god. That's not nice, is it? I was trying to free them. This game. Oh my god. Wow. So then we just got to hit the, pull the lever to reverse what we just did, I guess. It was just done, I can only assume. Let me just have a little look through here. Needed supplies. What do you make of this writing? Doesn't mean anything to me, should it? Yeah, hold on a second. I jotted something down earlier.
3597. Sacrifices need to be lowered onto the proper altars, and the safe way to him will be open. Well, that one's bright, and it's cr that's that's the three crossed off. That's the the five crossed off. That's the s yeah. There, yeah. It's got your numbers there. I don't know. I'm just gonna guess. Although, can we undo that? Maybe. Let's see what happens. The only one I can see is the odd one out, is seven. Okay, that seemed to do something though. Let me try this one. Red May, thank you so much for being here, buddy. You're an absolute ledge. We shall uh, see you soon. You get at me if you need anything. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Let's look around a little while longer. Well. Maybe I've got to do all three. Maybe the cross three ones mean that the sacrifice has to be on the altar. even alive and then this little one is lifted up that's all i want to guess I heard something. there we go it's right oh what even is that my god we're we supposed to get in there supposed to get in here okay wow just wow really at this point Oh, hello. Any clues on what any of this is? Cemetery lab note. So, if this is representative of things that have happened in real life. This is kind of suggesting that there's this church in Crimson City that Ruvik's father was involved with that was like a cult and they were doing experiments. This is a note from the experiment, uh, excuse me, in the, uh, in the cemetery. They had a lab in, in the cemetery. It's a bit, it's very Resident Evil-ish. Um, <laughs> it had to have been God's will that these two twin orphans survived. They were baptized and given medicine. Noon and his brother Zune, Z Zane, Zane, Zane? Uh, quickly recovered, but just as quickly did their aberration progress. Of course, they are twins, but for some reason, their growth patterns exhibit identical values. Okay. Yeah, 12 hours after serum administered. Body temporary aggravation, pain in lower extremities, evidence. 24 hours later, they're a little bit taller, a little bit heavier. Uh, vital signs stabilize sleeping short intervals. But 36 hours later, even taller, even heavier. Semi conscious, speaking to imaginary person, 48 hours later, even taller, much heavier. So I guess, um, it was the twins, but I, those two big giant things we just bought. Weird. 
and they started off as little kids. Right, interesting. So Ruvik did say they were taken in uh, strays and stuff. So I can only assume that the church was doing that to run experiments on people. Didn't actually care. What is going on though? That is the real question. What is actually going on? Oh. So sort we've of got a little bit of a Cerberus lad here. Going on. Uh, every month, offerings are brought above ground to the stone sarcophagus the owner calls the altar. Two bodies, four bodies, three bodies, five bodies, four bodies, seven bodies, six bodies. Is that code or... I'm trying to emphasise there's a lot of dead people. Uh, the church guard dog has begun to change. Just like the twins, the aberration is progressing. It devoured six bodies today and already it howls for more. It's begun to stress its bars and chains in its fervor. I don't dare take my eyes away from that animal. I may, th it may think I am another offering. Oh dear. Ay ay ay. Oh, it's asleep at the minute. Let's hope it stays asleep. It's in its cage anyway, but still. How disturbing. He's come out of his cage. Can't quite see there. Let's leave him to it. Let's get out of here. Can you get it open? No. Are you the master of unlocking? Oh dear. God. Monstrosity much. Yeah, I need to uh Does not like getting shot in the face with a sniper rifle. Is it dead? Yeah, thank God for that. Yeah, uh, if dealing with that on uh, a Kumu is ridiculous. There's actually a way you can just avoid it and run away from it. Um, and then Joseph says, Oh, I need my glasses though. And you can go back and get them. Well, I guess we've kind of skipped over that. And I don't know, I don't remember what happens if you just refuse and you're just like, no, mate, we've got to go. Or if you're even allowed to, I don't know, I don't remember. It seems like a good thing to do anyway, because we can hopefully get the, uh, the brain juice from it. No. Let's back up on, all right, it's not finished yet. Oh, there we go. What is it? Drop my glasses back there. All right, that's round one. There you go. Fuck. All right, 
let's uh let's try again then <laughs> Yeah, got to, I'm, I'm gonna do it. We're only playing on normal. Should be fine. Although, maybe he's gonna get super aggressive now. Sebastian, I'll draw it away so you can search. Now I want to kill it though. That's the thing. Well, that was that was terrible. Stuffed in a bush here. Hey, over here. Over here. Wish there was like a dodge button. But there's not. Yeah, I might have to go for this one again, unfortunately. Oof. Come and get me. That's it. Oh, is he dead? Yeah, he is. Thank God for that. Almost got wrecked. Seven thousand. Yeah, that's that was worth doing that for that brain juice. Now, if we uh, use our medical kit, hopefully, there we go. Let's we uh, go for it. Yeah, don't use that in combat. Af, thank you so much for being here, my dear. I'll, I'll contact you later about uh, what you want to do about um, your your. Uh, Games that you want to, uh, as you're now an executive producer of the uh, the Islam show. Uh, there you go, I've got his spectacles. Right, I don't think there's any uh, any supplies hidden around the outside. But yeah, that was worth it for the goo. That's a nice chunk there. It's not just about being unable to see. It's about <laughs> feeling normal. It's all right. Let's focus on finding Kidman. <laughs> Surely, being able to see is more important than feeling normal. <laughs> this is not a normal situation. Jeez, Joseph, all that for a pair of glasses. That's weird. It's not just about being able to see. It's about feeling normal. He's like. It's fine, don't worry about it. And then two seconds later, it's like, Jesus, Joseph. Something's definitely lost in translation in this game. Definitely. They could definitely have done a better job. Oh, hello. Nice. Oh, uh, chapter six clear. I'm gonna worry about saving. Hopefully, we'll. Uh, chapter seven, the keeper. Well, um, get an, uh, you know the opportunity to spend our slime in a second anyway. Excellent. Excellent. I think I'll need to um 
turn down my noise gate slightly on uh, my filter on my uh, mic when I find myself ending a word very quietly it cuts out let me just check see what we got yeah let me turn down the close threshold I think that I think Oi. Oi. Hello. Oi. Okay. I think that's slightly better. Let's give that a go. That sounded close. Okay, that's Kidman and Leslie. Nice. Actually, I'm gonna um There's no point in having meds on your uh on your D pad or feel. If you need to heal you can just go and open up your hey, menu. Joseph, you still with me? Barely. Right, another map fragment. I don't remember what you get if you get all the map fragments. And I think you may, in fact, need to do multiple playthroughs. Hmm. Someone's taken off her head, haven't they? Hmm. What are you doing, Joseph? We're just chilling, mate. Let's clear something down there. The question becomes, how do we, uh, how do we get there? I assume we can't head back outside. The forest for the trees. Oh, there we go. Got to talk to Sebastian. Him. Have you ever had the urge to just jump? When you're on a high place. Nope. <coughs> Where the subway rolls by. Imagine if you had that urge for a minute straight. And two minutes. What? You fought it off three times now, Joseph. You're learning to stop it. You're not listening. I'm not worried about stopping it, Seth. I'm worried about not wanting to stop it. Some part of me wants to turn. I don't know why. And I can't reason it away. It's deeper than that. Weird. It's like instinct. And it's getting stronger.
Lawrence Ruvik. What's your problem, bro? Oh, dear. All going on. I don't know. Oh, wow. One thing leads into the next, leads into the next. Right, chapter seven, the keeper. Who is the keeper? What are you about? Right, so we've got about half an hour. So we'll try and do a bit more. Um, but actually, uh, oh, yeah, we might want a bit of light in here, I think. There we go. It's ra rather dark. I'd better start searching for my partners. Yeah, never mind Leslie, eh? Probably actually, even though we're close to the end, I'll feel like uh, I should probably uh, step out for six seconds. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm going to do that right now. I'll be right back. Well, right, sorry about that. You know how it is. You gotta go. You gotta go. So I guess we're under the church now. Some kind of crazy crypt. I oh, like the fourth one of those uh those jars we've smashed. Um. Nothing in it. Oh, I got a bomb. 
Oh, close. Bullets. Oh, okay, we got something that time. A bit of uh, goo. And a few bullets. It's good to be uh, sneaky, but you can't actually even see what you're doing. There's a guy wandering up the end there. He's not seen us. Oh, he has, though. You've seen us, haven't you, buddy? <laughs> Let's get a bit of space. These matches are uh, incredible. Funny. <laughs> Imagine if they were like a real thing that existed. <clears throat> Grenade as well. Liz! Oh, what right there, Liz? How you doing, my dear? Are you alright? Um. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I. Maybe narratively it drags a uh, slight, <clears throat> but uh, from, for gameplay content, I, th I think, you know, more the better. Um, but yeah, no, I was just being optimistic. It's because I've, um, I've got a save file on here where I completed in four and a half hours. And that wasn't easy, and that's obviously, it's probably like a new game plus or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, figuring, obviously it's been several years since I last played it. Um... I'm talking to you guys about it. We're having a break. We're doing this. We're doing that. Um, that yeah, that was on easy though, and it's probably doing like an immediate playthrough after having just played it, so you know exactly where you're going. Um, but I mean, my uh, Kumu playthrough slight was like 28 hours, or so you know what I mean. Um, Yeah, don't worry about it. How are you doing, Liz? And Jack, uh, welcome back, buddy. Uh, don't apologize for going to AFK. I appreciate the luck. Um, so you went into work for two hours. That's not typical, surely. You get, um, surely you, uh, that's not your normal shift. I suppose like that, working for Domino's, you just kind of like take what you can, where you can. You had the day off, did you? Um, right, I see, Liz, I see. Uh, oh, that's a problem when sometimes you get a day off. It's not really a day off, is it? It's just a day when you're not at work. But there's, al there's always more work. Existence is work. Did you slight? Did you use the uh, the warps, or did you go through all eight worlds? I can uh, either way. I can manage quite well on Mario Brothers until you get to eight two. That freaking jump halfway through the level that messes with me every time. Well, what are you looking at, Sebastian? Looks loose. Okay, just take that. 
old lithograph. The lithograph was pried from a stone door, uh, which seems to be used as a key. Okay. Oh, oh my god. And I opened it by removing the key. How very curious. Let me have a look this way first. Oh, okay. That's a rather disturbing picture. I can't really see exactly what's going on there. It looks like... A portrait of two, a couple, or maybe the wedding photo. Uh, covered in blood like that. It's a little disturbing. Don't get my goo. You did every world. Fair enough, Slight. Good on you. No, it's a... Yeah. That's... That's exactly like when I worked at Iceland, Jack. They... And, yeah, they, like... They have a very limited amount of budget. And then they, like... If you make... If they make a lot of money in a day, they're like, oh, now we can, now we can, uh, employ someone for an extra hour. And do you want to stay? And, oh, if they have a slow day, they're like, oh, I might have to save hours. Got to, got to send you home early. It's like, but how, how do you know? How do you know if so, well, someone phones up and they're like, oh, can we, can we have pizza delivery? Oh, no, sorry. We sent, we sent the delivery guy home. So what are you, what are you doing? weird it's weird isn't it mate and good on you slight that's, that's the way to do it i feel like if you're going to do it on stream and complete mario brothers you should you should do a play through it and not use the the warps uh, okay well good on you slight i'm i'm scared to do it honestly i don't know what's gonna happen yeah everywhere be like that jack stupid um <clears throat> Yeah, Iceland, them to have an extra hour of budget to give to one person of like one hour of overtime, they had to make a thousand pounds in sales. You're like, what? I don't, I don't know. Joke. Anyway, catacomb note. Help. The metallic pounding. He's coming. I run, but he follows. Help, God. Help, help. Help, 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 help. Help. That doesn't sound good. I've got this on a little safe here. Excellent. Got a little key. Ew, there's a gloop. There's uh, stuff in there. <laughs> we got a key. That's what matters. Right, some more uh, crap parts. Uh, okay, let's start moving on. Uh, we've we'll got about 15 minutes, so what we'll probably do, whenever the next uh, save point emerges, that's probably where we will uh, save the game. That makes sense. And finish for today. Then we'll be uh, uh, back on Saturday, I guess. Oh. Okay. That's some scary looking dude there. Ah, I see. This is where we place that, uh, it's part of that door. There we go. 
outside bet through either of those directions we're gonna get another another key each to get through this area um but i hear uh the uh claire de lune which uh i didn't know the name of that obviously everyone recognized that little tune but that was seven who told us that um so i guess we'll uh go save it and leave it here for today Fourteen thousand goo to spend that's quite no small amount see what we can do with that uh lily's birth announcement there we go uh welcome with we welcome with love lily lynn castianos uh born july 18th 2006 9 56 a.m seven pounds three ounces 14 inches proud parents sebastian and mira castianos yes at least she she was born at least so I guess Mira went missing and all this accident after Lily was born. <clears throat> oh, let's read the newspaper. Catacombs found beneath the parish. Pastor says, nothing to lose sleep over. Who took care of this place? <laughs> uh, workmen repairing collapsed floor discover man-made passages beneath Cedar Hill Church. Claim they saw mummies parish denies access to historians claiming sacrilege yeah, yeah so it's their uh, little cult isn't it you got to worry lady all right chris missing chris taylor construction foreman disappeared while overseeing repairs of a fallen church floor repairs were nearly completed so it's unlikely he fell yeah they got rid of him because he discovered too much That's exactly what happened right, let's uh go and use our little key we got Uh, so you went to the the ho James appointment of the hospital. Is he all right? Oh, it's nothing serious. Or goo, excellent. Five thousand. Yeah, hey, now we're talking. That's uh, that's what that's what we want, isn't it? Some decent upgrades. Or oh, yeah. one very decent upgrade, maybe. <laughs> um. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately, some. You've got that peripheral stuff that needs doing, Liz, that isn't work, but it just needs doing life stuff. And sometimes you have to, you'd get your day off, just gets overtaken by it. And it is what it is, isn't it? All right, 19,000 we've got. I feel like we should maybe get the shotgun shells right there. Yeah, let's do it. Nice. Alright, that didn't last long, did it? Uh, <laughs> um, an extra grenade. Doesn't seem that important. I think we'll uh, I think we'll save up for the another two thousand. Get more sniper ammo. I think that's what we'll do. Oh, okay, interesting. It's better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? So it could have been serious, but it, it wasn't. That's good. Well, we got a decent amount of, uh, you know, t uh, way into it. We're at like we just started chapter seven i don't know how many chapters i think it's like 15 16 total so we've made some decent progress um is lump condition also is that a is that an eye thing anyway let's jump over for a second so yeah thank you for bearing with folks i may maybe uh the evil within is not everybody's uh cup of tea I know, slight of game. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I enjoy it. Uh, even though I'm, I find myself... The gameplay at this point certainly has some cheap shots it takes at you. It, c it can be a little unfair at times. And... Uh, the story is kind of very fragmented. I, I hope it, it all comes together in the end. 
and give us some kind of clear idea uh, about what's going on. It's like it's almost it's almost too fragmented for me to try and speculate what it, what it has gone on and what is is going on exactly. Um, but hopefully that will reveal itself a bit more. Um, the uh, localization translation is uh, is it seems really off at times, like distractingly so. Okay, and Sebastian says some stupid things at times. But again, I don't know. I guess it's just um, lost in translation. NF. Let's have a look. I'll, I'll have a look. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, please. Ah, neurofibromatosis. Is that it? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, it sounds pretty serious. It's a set of complex genetics dis disorders that affect almost every organ system, causing tumours to grow on nerves in the brain and throughout the body. Wow, that sounds... That sounds pretty damn serious. Um... Uh, while half of all affected people inherit the disorder, new cases can arise spontaneously through mutations in the in genes. Uh, diagnosed most often in children and young adults, NF occurs worldwide and in all races, ethnic groups, and both sexes. Uh, it can appear in any family. Treatments are presently aimed at controlling symptoms, but surgery can help to alleviate painful and disfiguring tumours. Uh, okay, so I guess it's just like kind of uh it's not like a big uh chunky tumor it's uh it's like lots of little ones that's unfortunate uh, and there's two types apparently uh type one is among the world's most common genetic disorders occurring in most one in every three thousand people uh this makes it more wide widespread than cystic fibrosis uh, hereditary muscular dystrophy, Huntington's disease, and Tay-Sachs combined. I haven't even heard of some of those. Uh, in most cases, uh, type 1 is relatively mild, allowing patients to live normal and productive lives. Uh, however, the disorder can be debilitating, and in some cases, life-threatening. Oh, dear. Well, I'm glad he's got you looking after him, uh, Liz. And the type 2 is uh, only 1 in 4,000. Four, oh, sorry, 1 in 40,000 people have it. So it's more than 10 times rarer. And it's uh, slightly more serious. Ah, oh, right, yeah. So, uh, so Jamie's got the more... Yeah, I mean, that's... Well, that's rare. That's kind of relatively common. If 1 in 3,000 people have it... That's like quite a lot of people have it, and I've never heard of it. Well, God bless him, and uh, yeah. So, like you say, when he goes to the opticians, and like the opticians see something, like if it was me, they'd just be like, "Yeah, hey, don't worry about." It. But obviously, in Jamie's case, they're aware of his medical condition. They're like, "Oh, you you should go and get that properly checked out," because in your case, it might be something more serious. Right, yeah, I got got you. That's what it sounded like, Liz. So he's never had any issues, but it's something they need to keep in mind if anything else arises. They're like, hang on a minute. We might need to do something about that. Okay, well, God God bless him. And um, good on you for looking after him, Liz. Oh, wow, that's awesome. I've got a new follower on Twitter. Yeah, it was a graphic artist. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let me just do the thank you. So, yeah, thank you to Sween for the uh, the resub. I 
appreciate it, Sween. Uh, also, thank you to um, Steph uh, signed up on the uh, the uh, to first tier of the Patreon, which is literally just uh, selling me out a dollar. So it, every little helps, Steph. And honestly, Steph, you've done more for me than anybody else. Uh, on, if we, yeah, if I, I'm, not, I'm not keeping track, but if we were. Um, also, thank you very much to uh, Jack and Atheline, both today signed up to be executive producers of this channel. For this month, they might they might change their minds next month, and that's fine because it's not cheap. But it does give them a, a say in it exactly. So I did. For, uh, so Jack, uh, I don't know if you saw it. I did send you an invite. Yes, you've joined the uh, server. Excellent. Let me give you uh, the appropriate role on there. Executive producer role. Perfect. So uh, on when you get a chance, Jack, have a look at the... In the master list channel, there is a, a Word document. If you download that, have a little look at that. That's the, that's the list, Jack, that I have got um, of games that I have access to. And I would, at some point, would either like to stream or, you know, I'm curious about it. I'm like, oh, we could stream that. That might be interesting. That might be a, a, an interesting thing for me to explore or for you for you guys to see. Uh, so as an executive producer, you get to add, look at that list and two things on that list you get to say, you get to put a vote for. Now, that what the vote means is I have to pick as the next game whatever has the most votes so say if you pick two things athlean picks two things that's four things with one vote now you can put both of your votes on one thing if you wanted to uh that would fast track it uh but even if we don't immediately get to those things so say if you this is four things that would mean i pick one of those four that you guys have voted on um and then when we finish that i pick something else so we're locked in that, that vote never goes anywhere so even if we don't get to it immediately they're the next things we're going to be doing. Uh, which will be as soon as we finish The Evil Within. Uh, you also get to choose any game that's not on that list to get added to the list. Uh, for me, for p potential future voting. Um, you can't vote on something that's just been added. So you can't just be like, I'm adding this and I'm also voting for this. That has to wait till next month. <laughs> uh, just to give it a bit of a leeway. Um she should give you details in the appropriate channels i think it's yeah i think it's the um voting channel that should give me my the rundown of how it works if you're not sure about anything so for you to add things to the list i kind of i need to have access to it which at the minute is anything on the retro pie so basically anything retro i have most 360 games i don't currently have access to game pass uh but I suppose I, I could. Uh, I'm kind of waiting to get a few more points to get three months worth of that to make it worthwhile. But yeah, but if there's also anything free to play now, this thing I want to veto. If you like, yo, is I really want you to play Fortnite. I'm gonna be like, uh, I want you. To, I want you as the executive producer to have a say and get get like your money's worth, as it were. But I can't just. I'm not like your guy's bitch, do you know what I mean? I can't just... <laughs> if you're like, I, I insist that you play this game that you really have no interest in. Is I'm like, ah, eh. But um, if, you've got any, if you're not sure, and there's no rush to get on it, um, but you have a little look at that. But, I mean, a lot of it, Jack, may not necessarily interest you. Uh, but there might be... You might, yeah, there might, there might be. There might be. Um, the lowest tier is a single dollar, Liz. Which I guess in our money is probably like seventy p. <laughs> uh, but don't you don't you certainly don't have to, Liz. Uh, and that's just like a that's just like an extra. Uh, that's just like um, I guess it's like a, have, certainly really cheap. It the idea is maybe it encourages more people to just go for it. Be like ah, it's a quid. It might be a quid. Uh, <laughs> it, it, Liz, you don't you cert thank you, Sween. You certainly don't have to. There's a link for it. Have a little look. Um, like I say, I've um, Scotty's gone for the producer role which get expensive, and Atheline and Jack have gone for the executive producer role. Even more expensive. 
and that's the thing and you don't need to worry about it liz it's um it's there for people who want to you know you, you know i'm i'm honored to have you here regardless liz i know you've been subbing um on the you know to, uh oh hush <laughs> Oh, that's thing. Uh, there's, yeah, you've been you got your little black chocobo there. You might want to get the rainbow chocobo. Uh, there is a substitution tier, the second one up. That's uh, designed for people who like subbing, but they don't really care about sub badges and emotes. Uh, the the advantage of the substitution tier is it's less money for you, and I get more money. So if you like of of someone who's a mind, I want to give is a sub on Twitch because that's like the level of support that I want to give to him, but I don't give a damn about emotes, and I don't give a damn about sub badges. That makes more sense to just do that rather than the Twitch sub. But if people do like the emotes and they do want a sub badge, I guess the Chocobo is pretty amazing. Thank you, Metapod. Um, I'm, I'm not, I, you know, I'm not, I want you guys to do whatever you want. You know, and I know there's probably like regular viewers who have never subbed, no bits, no Patreon. No, that's fine. I I just want people here. You don't have to do anything. It's not an issue. But if there are anybody who's uh, <laughs> uh slight, is that right? Anonymous could pay for a few months of Game Pass. Well, I think I've got um I've got points saved up, buddy. I could do a month right now because obviously the way it works, I want to kind of. I don't like want to drop a month or three months worth of Game Pass and then just like play one game and then something else gets voted in. But it's it's an option. That's the thing. Now I've got more producers, at least for this month. Um, I have to give them what they want. So if I have to cash in, it's just I, I'm still not at that. Well, you can say thank you very much to Anonymous. It's slight, but uh, there's a lot of interesting games on Game Pass at the minute. I will say that it's like you could. There's lots you could definitely do a lot of exploration and uh, diving into things, but um. We shall see. We shall see. But anyway, thank you all so much for being here. Uh, I'm enjoying Evil Within. Uh, I know Squidge is like, oh no. Uh, let me just... Uh... Uh, sorry, I'm just going to... Um... Quick, uh, quickly reply to someone there. Um, so yeah, I need, sorry, I'm rambling now. I need to get food. Let me see who's around for us to raid. If anybody wants to uh, guide the raid, now is the time to do it. Spend your points. Oh, hush, hush, hush. Twitch homepage. Uh, now is the time. Um, got some good options there. Oh my god, too many people, in fact. You know, not in a bad way. Uh, like, literally too many people, though. <laughs> oh! I just got a message popped up. Swain. Into that. <laughs> Swain's like, oh, I'll, ch I'll chuck you a dollar. Thank you, Swain. You, don't, you, you already sub Swain. You don't need to do that as well. But look, the, the, you know, I want to try and be here for you guys as, as much as I possibly can. And, you know, every every small amount helps. So, you know, thank you, Sween. Very, very, very generous of you. I do appreciate it. Um, who to raid? Who to raid? Lots of, uh, lots of options here. Uh, we did Mr. Wrong yesterday, so probably I won't do him again. Um... Hmm. No, seemingly not, Liz. It's <laughs> uh No, I haven't at the minute, Liz. Don't don't stress it. Uh I'm sure it'll pop up soon. Uh Jax took a while to come through earlier. I can just I can uh, check the actual Patreon and see if it's come through if you like. And you know, again, you don't need to do that either. You already subbed, but you do whatever you like. Let me have a little look. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, it's come from there. It just didn't send the email. Well, thank you very much, Liz. That's very generous of you. I do appreciate it. It, it all... Uh, 
you know, it all goes into the bucket and, uh, you know, it helps me keep this thing going. You know, I'm not trying to, like, be a millionaire. I'm not, I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to d do this as much as I possibly can. There we go. Now the emails come through. Bless you. Thank you, Liz. I know you've got, like, a lot of expenses out at the minute, so that's, that is very generous of you. With your car and stuff. Um, oh, hush. <laughs> don't deserve you right sorry let me get this uh raid on the way yeah um before i set up uh, yeah I'll, uh, day off tomorrow it's going to be workout day i'll be back at the weekend saturday and sunday i guess we'll try and finish this up like i say any time that steph and mer want to get back on borderlands 3 i will get game pass and we'll finish that up enjoying it but i would like to get it completed guys if you're there if if <laughs> just you know i know they're busy it's fine um uh after sunday i probably won't be back during the week next week um uh, i do have a funeral to attend um and i've got to travel quite a way to get there and was staying like over got to be up super early on the day and then we're staying over that night so i don't so i'm traveling up wednesday morning so i have to be up super early so for me to like mentally prepare it might not even be worth doing any amount of stream on that Tuesday. On this coming Tuesday, I don't know. Assume I won't be here, and if I am randomly, then that's fine. Obviously, won't be there. I won't even be in at this house on Wednesday. <laughs> uh, on Thursday, we're going to be travelling back. We're coming back early. So I definitely won't be able to start my new earlier time. And I don't know how I'm going to feel. I might be completely shattered. So I might be back Thursday. And I'll go over this again at the weekend. But I might not. I might just literally skip during the week next week. And I do apologise for that. You know, with subs and new patrons and stuff. But look, fam family funeral. I've got to, I've got to go. I've got, got family to support and all that. Um, and it's, you know, it happens once. So. Uh, uh, but um, I'll definitely be here Saturday and Sunday. Um, I guess we'll push Evil Within. And then see, I'll get in touch with our uh, new executive producers and see what they want us to be doing. Uh, and we'll take it from there. Um, decisions, decisions, sorry. Let me double check. Uh, oh, I'm kind of torn at the minute. So I'm tempted to go and uh, yeah, thank you, Jack. I appreciate that. But yeah, I'll um, exactly. I I I want to commit to you guys. That I'm going to be here five days a week, minimum. Uh, you know, just uh, you know, two days off a week to take care of any extra stuff, real life stuff, or like self care or whatever, including exercise tomorrow. Uh, you know, I don't. You know, some streamers can be a little bit like they'll not have a schedule but if i'm like asking for support i want to give that back you see what i'm saying so um it's faithu's birthday today so i'm kind of um i would like to maybe go and see her uh but also like erica was hanging out earlier uh and it's nice to chat to her and it's been a while since i've seen her stream so it might be nice to um no need to stress bruh <laughs> indeed um <sighs> decisions eh Balls. Um, is anyone is anyone hanging around for a bit? Has anyone got a preference? Uh, uh, part of me feels we should go f to see Feifu just because obviously it's a birthday. It's like, uh, it's been quite a while since we've seen Erica. 
Yes, and that's just like two examples. There's like 500 people on here I could happily raid. I genuinely don't mind. Yeah, go there. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Erica's playing Call of Duty. She says it's uh, Obsession. Um, uh, Feifu, whose birthday it is, is playing Monster Hunter Rise. I've, really I've got to just grab food and stuff. Uh, okay. Liz and Jack say go for uh, the birthday raid. Okay, let's, oh, okay, let's raid Feifu then. Erica, bloody love you. I do owe you a raid. Oh, that, oh, or anything. <laughs> She's lovely, is Erica. Um, but uh, I'll get you, I'll get you another time, Erica. It's anything. Did she say it's her birthday in a couple of days? Maybe we'll get we'll do another birthday raid on Erica's birthday. I think it's, she said it in a she said a twenty something. Maybe next week. I might not be around. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll go, okay, we're gonna be ready to say happy birthday to Feifu. <laughs> uh, Feifu is also also lovely. Um. Oh, that's rough, isn't it, Liz? I've done that. You go, uh, you know, oh, wait. Where, where's this drink? What is it? Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to send you over to Feifu. It's a birthday. It's been a monster hunt that arise. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you. I'll go get some food, uh, decompress, and uh, I will be back on Saturday. Same time as always. Jack, Affeline. Thank you so much. We'll sort something out soon. Um... Until Saturday, folks. If anyone needs me, get on me on uh, the Conflux. That is where I am. You're all bloody awesome. I'll see you soon.